Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Foreign Entities Podcast. I'm today's host, Willis and Cage. Today's going to be a special two-man potty edition. This yes. is episode 48. Today is December 5th, 2020. Thank you for joining us, Jose. <laughs> Thanks. You know, you know what I realized? Me doing the switch back and forth is going to be really hard because I have to like think about it and then switch. <laughs> yeah, man. We're still trying to figure out the kinks of this two-man potty here. Uh, because our, our dear friends Victor and Westy decided to go out on a little date, and uh, that's why they're not here today. So we just stole all Victor's stuff. You know, you know, <laughs> I have a I have a pro strat. What's if that? I let you talk for a long time, I don't have to switch back and forth. <laughs> 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 but is... I'm not gonna leave you hanging like that. Wow, thanks, man. That is a pro strat. Did you hear about um? Oh well, did have you seen the YouTube TV shit? No, it, it's basically like YouTube. Like you pay for like it, it's a bunch of like regular cable channels, just paid for through YouTube. It's like discover. I don't know if it's discover. I don't know exactly what the channels are, but you're just paying for a monthly subscription. You're just paying for cable essentially. Is it YouTube Originals? No, it's not YouTube. It's cable TV. So any show that's on cable, they're streaming it through YouTube. I guess. No, I haven't. Yeah, I've been seeing it all over my fucking YouTube app. It's just like, and it's fu- it pisses me off because it takes up half of the goddamn screen. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's like, it's just that and then all the videos underneath. I don't know, bro. Fuck. It's just, we're just getting cable now. You feel me? I guess all, this, all the shows that can be streamed are taken by Netflix and Hulu. And mm. YouTube's just like, what can I do now, you know? Yeah. Um, I always thought... I always thought that um, the YouTube just had YouTube originals where they had like their own shows and shit like that. Because, for example, Rand Link released their buddy system show. Mm. Um, Slow Mo guys had um, Slow Mo World and stuff yeah. like that. And that's pretty much like they, they basically they took original stuff that they had on YouTube that was popping and stuff like that. And then they would basically give them like a high budget and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, it's like a like a full production kind of thing. Yeah, I've never actually seen any of those YouTube Red like originals. I've I've and I've had like the like the thing YouTube Red uh-huh. I, is that is it still called YouTube Red? Yes. Yeah, I've had it. And I've just never. The only reason I did it was just so I could listen to music with my phone locked and shit. <laughs> the shit I don't have on my phone. You know it's, it's what I what I found out was that. If you go on YouTube through the website, and then cause it then shut it off, it should still keep going. Cause, or like you go on, um, for example, when you're watching flicks <laughs> right. on, on, on Pornhub, fucking, um, and you exit out the Safari, mm-hmm. it will switch back to, uh, it, not switch back, it would keep playing like in a little corner. I get you. I get you. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen that. Like. Uh when you're just you can move it to the shit like with facetime now yeah 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 so <laughs> there was one time where i was like uh, i gotta reply to a text and i took it all took it away and it was still in the corner yeah, and, I was like, what the? <laughs> and it's still playing and it's still fucking, yeah, yeah, it's, i get you yeah i know exactly what you're talking about it's still fucking playing you know what's crazy bro mm. this button thing is really hard to do <laughs> not gonna lie to you because you have to fucking pay attention yeah, no, I feel you, dog. That's why we need a third guy. <laughs> <laughs> we need a broadcast guy. Yeah, we need we're a, hiring. <laughs> <laughs> we need a Gotti. Yeah, you feel me? But Expendable fuck. people. Mm. <laughs> nah, but yeah, but yeah, bro, that shit makes me paranoid, bro. It's like, damn, it, it, what what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, why, why is it? I don't know. It, I don't trust technology, bro. But you, at the same time, I can't live without it because of YouTube. No, no, because of that fucking corner video shit. I'm just like, is it sent? Like, what if it sends to somebody? You know what I'm saying? Like, just, but I don't know. What are you sending? No, nothing. Like, I'm saying, like, when you're catching a flick, right? When you're just watching a regular flick, and then, like, like you said, you have to reply to somebody, right? What if it sends the video? Like, what if you accidentally press a button you don't know is there now because you don't know everything that's in the updates and shit? What if it accidentally sends and people are like, oh, look at this guy. He's watching Puerto Rican midgets. You feel me? Like, I don't know. It makes me nervous, bro. It I makes f- me nervous. I feel like the only time it will send, if you're sending yourself, if you're like, well, I don't know, you're fucking sending the link. 
or a screenshot of what you're watching. That's it. that's what I'm saying. Who knows? Who knows what might what might be next? You know what I'm saying? What if what if the Apple's just like, oh, you want to send the you want to send the video you're watching to somebody? Just swipe up, boom. Now it's sent. You feel me? Oh, like an airdrop. Yeah, like an airdrop. I mean, sharing is caring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what if you're texting like your mom or something, dog? You feel me? It's just like, well, here you go, mom. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah, another another thing about like the new iPhone update I don't like is, and I know a lot of people do like it. I realized you were talking. I had to switch back. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know a lot of people do like it, but it's um, the fucking how when you get a call now, it doesn't change to like the call screen. It just shows a little tab, on yes. on like I don't like that. I don't like that because it's like it, it feels like okay, I'm getting I'm getting a call. But I, I'm like, it's just ringing. I don't know what the fuck you feel. I, I don't know. And it's too small. You sometimes you press the hang up button instead of the answer button. It, I don't know. I don't like. I don't like. If that you shit. click on the name while it's ringing, or you click the dialog box, and, and yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I, I, don't, I don't like that. I just want it to interrupt what I'm doing, so I know I'm getting a call. Can you change that? I don't know. I've never tried. Well, find out. <laughs> on the next episode <laughs> nah man but <laughs> you just do it right now <laughs> fucking idiot you know what I just realized fucking every time I switch back and forth I'm gonna keep pointing this out this is the switch back and forth podcast mm-hmm. um since it's delayed I forget it's delayed so I actually have to do it based on our voices <laughs> that fucking blows dog other times that we are we're supposed to do it is based on reaction. So if you're laughing, I'm supposed to switch back to your face while you're laughing and stuff like that, because they're just gonna hear you laughing in the background. Well, yeah, I mean, but but it's like you don't need to really see me laugh. You feel me? If, I mean, if you just like if you're still going, if you're still got something like you feel me, if you don't need to change it to me laughing. It creates the dynamic, you know. People, are like, yeah. oh, he's fucking laughing. Look at him. Ha ha ha! No, that's what we need the fucking third shot for, bro. But. It is what it is. We're still figuring it out, right? This is this is at least a step up above where we were at, I think. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It only ever gets better, right? Except for that one time we tried the video podcast and we forgot to put the audio back and we uploaded that, right? Yep. It's on YouTube. I don't think it's on the on the um, podcast app though. I think we only put it on YouTube. Oh yeah. Okay, cuz we because essentially it passed off to be a YouTube video because it's a video, but not an audio. Because the audio, it was it, it was horrible for mm-hmm. them. You know what I mean? I saved the audio listeners, not the not the video guys. <laughs> not the video guys. We, we don't have a lot of them yet. Yeah, no. Nah, so bro. fuck you guys. No <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe, hit that bell, please. <laughs> please, please caress the button. Please caress the like button, bro. I realize every time I fix myself, I can't press this button. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna buy a switcher <laughs> and just and just have it manually just mm-hmm. nah or just at some point um I had like I just had it on you while I was talking um come to the con- actual conclusion that at some points sit behind <laughs> you understand what I'm saying yeah I got you or just do how everybody else does it where um like I'm like I'm still in it but Behind the scene, and but yeah, but like yours is just audio. Yes, I or just you. have the third camera go to the the my side of my side of things. Mm-hmm. But when we when we still need like, wouldn't that be four cameras that we need then, eventually? Yeah, That's I mean, the upgrades for these cameras mm. are the ones that we don't have to keep pressing. To nice, <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, so if anything, the the third camera will be that camera. Right. And then use Hopefully. that for the wide. Um, that way, the ones that, if, for example, one of these shut off, it's just a different angle. Right. You know, and the and the main one is still working. You know what I mean? But that's just in the works. At the end of the day, you know, is all this COVID shit, which is um, hopefully ending soon. Because I, um, I was watching the news that they're rolling out vaccines. For the UK, like next week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I seen that shit. Are you you, you gonna get a vaccine when it when it, when it drops? Mm, probably not the first drop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not go, I'm not going for the midnight release. Yeah, I feel you because those are the ones with all the problems. Yeah, you know I'm man? not camping out. You know what I mean? As <laughs> as much as much as they say, oh, we're testing them and stuff like that. 
at, uh, you got to realize there's they're kind of still testing it on us. Oh yeah. Oh definitely. Yeah, and I mean, and everybody that everybody reacts to vaccines differently. You know what I'm saying? So if, you might fuck around be allergic, you don't even know. They got something in there, you fuck around kill you. You know what I'm saying? I mean like um yeah, they like, oh, you know they 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 run like uh, hundreds of samples and stuff like that or whatever the fuck. But um not everybody's built like you. Yeah, exactly. Damn, but, but speaking of uh I fucking I got offered the job. I got offered uh, the job back at Blue Martini because they just recently opened back up. I didn't know that they were going to open back up. I thought they were going to be closed forever. That's what I was told. So I left the WhatsApp ch- chat and everything. I was just like, well, nice working with you fuckers. And then I just cleared it, you know. But um, so, yeah, they offered me that shit. But I don't know if I want to be in that because it's like, you, you know, it's like it's all tight in there and shit. And they're still doing like live music and shit. But. When my mom told me, she was like, "They're they're doing like half capacity," so it's like if they fit three fifty, they fit whatever half of three fifty is what one fifty. So um, I was like, I don't know, but then I, I'm thinking like, I still I'm still working at this other job and like I, don't know, I might fuck around work one day over there at Blue Martini. You feel me? I I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I was thinking maybe like a Friday, because everything good is happening on Thursdays this year. You know what I'm saying? Like New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve, uh, my yeah. birthday's on Thursday. Not the thurs, not this Thursday, but when it, in March it's on a Thursday. So I was like, I know I'm not gonna fucking take Thursdays. You feel me? Uh huh. But I'm like, oh, I kind of need that extra money. You feel me? I guess I could just pick up more days at the job I'm at now, but fuck them. You know what I'm saying? That place is not a fun place to work. I mean, where do you get paid at more? Um, tips wise, it would be Blue Martini, but hourly, it would be Bodega. Which one's more work? Definitely Blue Martini. Because Blue Martini, I would be doing, I would be bussing, and because it's been, it's, she said it's been slow. So they only have one buster on Fridays and they still open all three bars. You feel what I'm saying? So it's mm-hmm. like, not only do you have to open three bars, you have to close three bars. You feel me? But, but like shit. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing, but she tells me that, um, because they have restrictions on restaurants, so they can only open until, or, or like bars and shit, they can only open until 12. You feel me? Cause like bodega is supposed to be open until four in the morning. Mm-hmm. So is it, they're they're open from eleven to four. Would you have to work those hours? Uh, well, not me because <laughs> so fuck that. I told them, look, I'm working these three days in the mornings. Fuck working that night shit. I'm done doing that shit. That shit, fuck fuck that. I'm I'm I've worked. Uh-huh. The, you know, I'm done with that. And because they have a, like a lounge bar kind of thing next door, so they would be keeping that open for however fucking long. Mm-hmm. But thankfully. Because of these restrictions, they're not doing that shit. But they still have the bar and lounge open. So, I don't know, dog. I, I was thinking about taking it low-key because, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Blue Martini was fun. You feel me? Like, when I was there, it was it was all right. You feel me? Like, I guess, I guess, I heard some. I guess you would have to take a night that you don't care about. Because then you're going to regret it. You know, like, man, yeah. fuck this night, bro. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. And then it's like, imagine working a night and then following it up with a morning oh, shift on at that. Bodega. Fuck that. Yeah, no, because... And, and another thing about it is, like, they, um, they're they only open Wednesday through Saturday. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Wednesday through Saturday. So I work Monday because my original plan was, okay, take, like, Monday or something. like Or maybe Sunday. You feel me? But... Uh, that that shit fucks the whole thing up because I'm not taking Saturdays because we do the podcast on Saturdays, and I don't want to take Thursdays because, like I said, and also I always work Wednesday and I don't want to work those fucking all those days in a row. I don't know. Uh-huh. And yes, we do the podcast on Saturdays. If, in case you guys didn't know that, um, make sure you follow us. <laughs> <laughs> we are scheduled every Saturday. Every Saturday, uh, nice podcast release at twelve o'clock. In the afternoon, all right? Um, Yeah. And uh, every Saturday, we record one. Yeah, at least we try. Yeah, we try to. If it's not for those other bastards that, you know what I'm saying, can't coordinate themselves well. But, yeah, whatever. We're here, right? Yes, that's what matters. 
<laughs> you know what's funny? As much as we throw shots, they're not going to watch this. Oh, definitely not because <laughs> cause they're not in it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, Victor. Victor's going to watch this only because he wants to see how it went and see if we, if we needed him. Oh, we never needed him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking, Vic. We love you, kind of. I wish you were here. <laughs> yeah, man. I can't lie. I can't lie. I won't lie. I refuse. <laughs> love him. Love him. Love him to death. <laughs> the other guy, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, but yeah. Um, to be honest, um, hopefully the this this theoretically should look better than the other ones we released um camera wise at least this one (laughs) (laughs) i don't know about the other one um but yeah so we're we're trying to you know do the two the two camera stuff and hopefully maybe next week have it set up where it's you know nice and um this is 48 isn't it yeah this is 48 fuck all right so. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck! I forgot fifty was coming up, dog. Shit! <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a whole nother. That's gonna be a whole nother ordeal, bro. And it's pretty. It's pretty much like this one. It's pretty much like this. Yeah, but then we we gotta figure out how to do the fucking. Don't we need another? Um... No, I got it set up. I, I I based on this is why I wanted to try this. I wanted to try this to figure out the because I'm I'm using that camera mm-hmm. to basically um, symbolize what the other thing is supposed to be. Right. And just go from there. Excuse me. Plus, I have you, like, remember the little square in the corner? Right. I, sorry. Um, <laughs> I have it cropped in a way that would fit. So, basically, technically speaking, I can I can basically make the screen mm-hmm. smaller and fit where we need it to fit. Damn, bro. Who do you think, who do you think is going to gonna show up for nobody? 50? You think nobody's, you think it's going to be two-man potty again, bro? Yeah. Fuck, it might as well be. <laughs> <laughs> it might be Westy. Yeah. And Victor will show up. Right. Hopefully. Um, I, we got Gotti remembers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, off the air, we'll, we'll talk about how to how we're going to do it. Because mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Like, we know. Okay. We know what we're doing. We know what we're doing. We don't Just know how. The format. Yeah. That way, it's like, um, because, you know, at the end of the day, it's not just the video it's audio at the same time so it's like um is this is this 50th special gonna translate good for just audio listeners that's true that's true you feel me so theoretically in my head um it should still work in the sense where hopefully there's still um people talking enough where it could be an audio but then the, what we're doing is enough to be you know entertaining video wise mm-hmm. so basically like I, I don't want it i don't want it to be where the audio listener is like not hearing shit you know what i mean because we're too busy doing the activity i got you i want there to be enough commentary and and you know regular storytelling enough to be an audio podcast mm-hmm. and then basically like basically the event i it should be an add-on an extra going on in the background right right theoretically you. you know what i mean that way it's like um basically like oh like while we're shooting the shooting the shit the the activ the activity is going on you know i mean and then but you know of course video wise you would see it you know what I mean, I say, like, oh, you know, if you want to see what's going on, you know, tune in, you know, just to bring, you know, all the audio people over to the video because, um, you know, content, I guess, because, you know, we're at the at the end of the day, I should have got you nodding. I couldn't. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. I, I'll just I'll just tell them that I'm nodding. I'll just tell them <laughs> when I'm nodding. I'm nodding right now. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, we're a production company. So, like. We don't do just audio podcasts, you know what I mean? We also do videos and stuff like that. So, um, you know, just migrating all that over there. Right. Watch out for the fucking cooking channel coming soon. It's not a cooking channel. It's more cooking segments. Cause we're, cause, <laughs> Is it cooking segments? <laughs> no, because when you say cooking channel, 
it makes it seem like we're gonna have another channel dedicated. Oh yeah, to that's what I wanted, bro. That's what. I, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted the whole production, bro. I wanted uh, just somebody behind the counter, like those, like um, like no, no, Gordon no, no, Ramsay. No, 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 no. We're doing that. Mm-hmm. We're doing that. Sorry, stuff outside. Uh, no, I meant like, cause you know, for example, it'd be, cause when you say channel, people, oh, I'm gonna have to subscribe to two channels. No, oh, I got you. Yeah, I got you. It's gonna, it's gonna be already on our main channel. All the stuff is gonna be there. You know what I mean? Um, for the cooking, I don't know if we're gonna stream it, or I don't. Okay, basically, I don't know how we're gonna edit it, cause I was thinking of not editing it. So we're going to like, basically, you're going to get an episode, like, uh, there'll be like two hour episode or however long it takes to cook. <laughs> however long it takes to We're not making out. ribs. <laughs> we're not going to do a four hour set. We're not now, slow cooking a fucking rotisserie chicken. I mean, we can pause and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know because I don't know how I want to, I don't want, I don't know how I want to edit it because I don't know if we should either do um, like little bits and pieces where it's like. And this is the finished product, you know what I mean? Or like, like just, an actual cooking show. Yeah. Or just go in it and then you're with us the whole step of the way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I have an idea of what and how we're going to do it, but just not how we're going to distribute it. I'm nodding. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're going to do it abridged. Basically, you know, edit it all fancy stuff like, ah, oh, you know, and, or are you going to stand and watch <laughs> every single thing we've done? The yeah, mess ups, but, the bloopers. Yeah, that's that's what I was kind of thinking. You know, it's like I like I think it would, I think maybe like incorporate both of them. You know what I'm saying? Like only show the fuck ups, maybe. Mm-hmm. Nah, not only show the fuck ups. I feel like, like I feel like those are for the comps. For the cops? Comps. The oh, compilations. Com- oh, okay, I got you. I got you. You know what I mean? Where, like, you know, people put, oh, this is the best of mm-hmm. so-and-so. I feel like that's where that works. Because it's like, if you just make one of just fuck up, it's just like, what, what about the successful stories? <laughs> yeah, like, what like, are, they, there is ever, none. <laughs> <laughs> did they ever make the souffle? You know what I mean? So making souffle is hard, bro. Exactly. I'll tell you the idea I have of the cooking, the, the cooking channel. Cooking channel? The cooking show. The cooking show. Yeah, you know I mean? And, um, so, yeah, look out for that. Um, that's... Um, that's 2021 shit though oh yeah oh yeah you know that's I mean? um, <laughs> if even that <laughs> because yeah. no i mean like we can get it started to be honest especially with these these two these two cameras mm-hmm. we can get it started it's just uh we need a kitchen exactly and this new house that i'm getting it, it, it could work mm-hmm. it has the setting for um it has a placeholder for cameras it just doesn't have the um space like no. counter space, you mean? Like, no, nah, we don't need counter space. We you just think so. You think you don't need counter space until you start cooking, and it's all you got is a stove and one little fucking table, and you're just like, "Fuck, where can I put all my ingredients?" Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll talk about that more. Oh, yeah. Um, people probably want to hear it now, like, "Ooh," <laughs> but no, because you're gonna take my idea, <laughs> and you guys are more equipped than I am. Yeah, and then <laughs> you guys have the kitchen, yeah. you guys have the counter space, <laughs> and then there goes my idea out the window. Yeah, bro. And yeah. Then who am I? You know, you know, we made it when people are making like compilation videos of our shit, bro. That's mm-hmm. when you really know, like, you got fans. You feel me? When yeah. somebody take out the time out of their day. To learn how to edit videos together so they could just show people you. You feel me? I can't wait for those days. You feel me? We, yeah, but, um, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That's because that's love, right? That's like real love right there. That's like. They go through all your content and put some comps together. Yeah, man. And then th- those those are the times where you usually forget, like, damn, I did that. When did I do that? Yeah, yeah exactly. It's like, fuck, dude. It's like, oh, like, oh, um, top 10 moments where he was like nice or top 10 moments where he was being an asshole yeah right? yeah yeah. and then you realize you've been an asshole for a long time <laughs> yeah, it's like wow there's way more than 10 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah jesus christ and the video is like an hour long it's like shit am i more of an asshole than i'm not it makes you think i keep switching back and forth and i realize i'm always looking at the computer so over here or you, you know what i mean but you know hey man where are we 24 oh 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 
Oh, it's almost time to press the okay button. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to press the down button. I got to press the okay yeah. button. Yeah, let's it's not different. get that mixed up. All right. Uh, I'm going to do mine. <laughs> All right. So I'll just keep talking then. Yeah, this is this is everything, bro. All right, go press yours, dude. All right. right. <laughs> I like how dude, I don't re- technically we don't need to cut away only because we give away the illusion that we do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I have you sitting there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. Uh, I don't want to accidentally like fucking move the camera. I'm, I'm just like lightly tapping it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I feel that. It's cause I, I don't know if because it's the focus and stuff like that. All the shit that people usually get paid for and like all that you have an assistant for, you have the third guy for. <laughs> we're doing it. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. I want to let you guys know out there that you don't need the fancy guy out there. You don't need the third guy. Yeah. You fuck the I mean? third guy, bro. <laughs> if you want to do this, you can. Believe. All you need is some uh, some elbow grease. And a smart guy who knows about cameras. And that's Jose for me, bro. Wow. I don't know shit about cameras. Hey, man. Hey, uh, I'm sure you know more than I do. <laughs> cameras. Uh, Google. <laughs> Google's your friend. Google is your, your entire friend. Um, fuck, dude. Hold on. Let me get some Gotta water get here. the potty water. Drinking some of the potty water, baby. Yes, I am. Nah, man. Yes, I am. I don't know. I don't know, man. If you think about it, right? How much how much how much would we have to pay somebody to just sit there? Or do you think we could convince somebody um just to do it for free? Like, hey, you want to be part of a special project? You know what I'm uh people usually get away with that by doing internships where they don't have to pay the guy. <laughs> But you have to be a big company to do that, where they believe you. Right. And they're like, yeah, I, I, it's worth doing an internship because I get to learn. But they're not learning shit here. <laughs> That's true because we don't know shit either. <laughs> exactly. So we would probably. Well, then again, if like like I said before, in like episode one, whatever the fuck. Essentially, we're collaborating if you work with us, you know, because it's like it's more of a the sense where it's like. Let's not know shit together. <laughs> it's no, we're not going to pay you, but you're getting some exposure. <laughs> no, it's not like that. It's more of a like, oh, like they don't have a camera. We have a camera. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. They can use our shit. You know what I mean? They can use my studio. They can use, you know, I can help them with the auto engineering shit, you know. And in return, they work for us. <laughs> they just help with us. us work with us. There yeah, it's go. essentially like we just, you become part of our team. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like you're working for us. You're working with us. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, eventually we're going to have people working for us, right? Like, because, I mean, shit can only get so big where you need somebody like, hey, yeah, but that, you that's, take that, care of these that's people. That's usually when, let's say, that's when you start paying people more than minimum wage. And right that's, now we're not paying anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, for example, like, um, usually for productions like this, they hire, you know, an audio engineer or a lighting guy, the camera crew and stuff like that, broadcast booth people mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But we don't have that kind of scratch. Right. You know what I mean? So we don't, we don't, ha- or like an office space, you got to pay rent for that. Da, da, da. I mean, we could just use our crib and stuff like that. <laughs> and then, well, I'm not going to well, pay myself. <laughs> no. It's just like, I guess, how do I say this? It's like the verse for verse thing with people, you know, yeah, like yeah. Nyquan wants to bar fucking couple verses from me and he gives a couple verses to me. I'm like, and we just pay each other by, you know, royalty percentages and stuff like that. And we, and he doesn't have to go to a studio. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, oh, tough. Go find a studio, dude. And, yeah. and give me a verse. Cause then he's spending money to give me something that I'm not paying him for. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So it's more of a like, okay, I need you for a verse. And I'm going to provide the recording studio. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then in turn, I will give you a verse and provide the recording studio and stuff like that. So nobody's paying anybody shit, but we can make a profit. Right. It's, and there's going to be a point of time where I'm going to have to pay him because, you know, at some point he's going to be out of town. Mm-hmm. Then I have to pay for his flight. But then that, those are expenses I cover where, you know, I'll be like, all right, I'll, he's how much I have to pay for your, your time because you could be making money somewhere else. Right. 
but that's what that's again with when it becomes more of a hassle but right now it's yeah. I feel like I feel like we could get away with like that internship bullshit when we have like an office space. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause, cause if you don't know shit, right, you're just gonna be like, oh wow, look, they got the fucking thing all set no, up. You know the what thing, I'm saying? Because the the thing about the internship is that they're taking that program to be hands on in the field. So mm-hmm. I have to provide them with that actual service. Because I'm not gonna have them just like if I have an internship right now, it, it doesn't do them justice because it's something they could figure out on their own once we have the office space and the production stuff and actual like good equipment and all yeah, this, that's what I'm saying. Then I'm going to be like, yo, you get to work with this shit hands on. You get to see how it goes together. You get to work on a production and you could appear on it if you want. You know what I mean? Or whatever the fuck. And you know, just get your hands dirty as they say in the, in the, in the, in the industry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but essentially just getting your hands dirty that way when you go back to school or whatever the fuck you're in it for and you came to study and you came to internship with me or something like that, you actually go back with something that you learned. You know what I mean? But at that point, I would need my knowledge to be at least adequate enough yeah. to even offer an internship. You know what I mean? Because if I, like, if I go internship by, like, at some place at Telemundo, I would hope they're teaching me some shit. Like, you said at Telemundo? Yeah. Oh, like like some shit like that, like production. Okay, when it comes to production, yeah. TV production, stuff like that, I would hope they're teaching me something. Like, yo, this connects here, or like, oh, like you need to, I don't know, room uh, set room tone and stuff like that, or like, oh, the ambiance. These are the different mics we use. This is how we set it up. This is how procedures work here at Telemundo because it's different for different sets. You gotta mic these guys. You gotta put lapels on those guys or whatever the fuck. I hope it's just not like, oh, go grab a coffee for me. Yeah, yeah. And then it's just like at that point you're just being an asshole. Yeah, that's what we got Gotti for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing Gotti. I love you. But, yeah. but like it just it's more of a like I, I then again there there are there are paid internships and stuff like that, yeah. but if we're going to offer the the, the 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 unpaid one, we got to at least send those people away with like some knowledge that they didn't waste their time because, you know, they're like damn, I could have been getting paid. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But um all that shit comes with time. You know what I mean? Um, and I don't want to do anybody dirty. You know what I mean? But the only reason we're doing it like this is because, you know, money is a hard thing to come by. And um, I don't want to I don't want to say it's because, you know, it's usually hard to say you're going to do something and not have the resources to do it. Because it's very easy to be like, I want to do this, do that, and do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But then the goals... When you say, once you say your goals like, oh, I'm this by next year, da da da, it sounds more realistic. Cool. Now imagine trying to set all those goals, you know, during a pandemic. Oh yeah, this shit. It's during, so much fucking harder to get shit done when when everything's so fucked, bro. Just like it, it, it puts like an like an added like anxiety almost to mm-hmm. to every decision decision yeah. you make. You feel me? It's like. Because now you have to account for that as well when, when like, you're worried about, like, damn, everything might not be open in a couple weeks. How am I going to make my money if I'm not working? If I'm not working, how am I going to pay for this equipment? This, this, and that. It's, like, it just it just puts on some more stress that it's, like, when you're trying to actually get something done. And, like, uh, it's, it's, it's fucked. But so, essentially, what we're doing is, like, showing you that you used to do it. You know what I mean? Um, granted... Like we're lucky enough that you know we have most of this equipment already, and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> it could be better, you know, but you got to work with what you have. Yeah, you know what I mean, instead of just being like, uh, because there's a lot of times where I'm just like, because I was watching this guy on YouTube. He's like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my channel. And he did. He uploaded a video like 11 months ago, and he was like, oh, I don't know what to do with this channel. Maybe I'm gonna upload this. Oh, maybe I should get some vlogs or whatever. And that was like in January. But then COVID hit in February mm. and March. You know what I mean? So I know he probably like, damn, all this shit that I wanted to show, I can't do it because, you know, they got us on lockdown over yeah. here and stuff like that. And then you realize all the shit that you wanted planned was without COVID in the picture. Mm-hmm. And then when then you just stuck doing, what, Zoom calls or whatever the fuck, and he probably doesn't want to do that shit. He's stressed. He has to study. He's now doing online and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So I'm like, damn, uh, I don't want to be stuck in a place where it's like, now nah, we can't do shit. So we have to wait a year. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Which is we, what we've done, you know what I mean, for some of our stuff. But 
Um, luckily, this podcast has been still going, and we still, like we said, we got the video up and running, and that's good. And we got the two cameras, you know, trying to do this sh- slowly but surely. Yeah. That way, when we actually get the good equipment, we already know how to do the shit. Yeah, man. I it's it, that's one thing I kind of noticed. Like every time that we've been like like setting up for the podcast and shit is like, damn, it takes it always takes like a little bit longer. You know what I'm saying? And then I started thinking, I'm like, that's a good thing because it means like we have more. To set up because before yeah. it was just four mics and a fucking interface and a computer. Now it's now it's all this other shit and it's like it feels like it feels like progression. You feel me? Yeah. It's like it's like okay, I can see it. It's it's bringing back that like that motivation when you when you see it getting better. You feel me? Some part we're gonna start putting makeup on. Oh man, those are those are gonna be the good Costumes. times. <laughs> 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 now nah, theme music. Um, Intros, outros, all that other shit. Yeah, you feel me. With due time, of course. I feel like I know how to do that. Now that I think about it. But yeah, you know, a lot of like I said, um, um, I'm happy that uh, aside from doing all this extra shit and taking more time, I'm happy that it hasn't been from an outside source oh, yet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, where it's like, hey, I need you to come to this project. Like, imagine if we had a lighting guy. And then, you know, we, my job takes a hit and I can't pay the guy no more. Mm-hmm. He's not going to want to do it. You know I mean, his money's tight because, you know, COVID, COVID got him working less. And he's like, damn, bro, I'm sorry, man. Yeah. You're going to have to. And then we're, you know what I mean? So it's like, I, I'm happy that we're still, <clears throat> we're still adding stuff. But, you know, not having to rely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah as I much. You. you know what I mean? Like, I mean. Look, Victor and Wes here in the hair were still doing it, right? <laughs> yeah, but that was more out of spite than anything. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I like like I said before in other podcasts, at some point there's gonna be a point of time where it's just gonna be Victor and Westy. You hope so. I no exactly. I yeah. mean one can hope, you know, but that's what I wanna yeah, basically no, I, get you, I, get you, I, I wanna highlight where it's like as much as like um it and it when you see certain projects and stuff like that, you're like, damn, if it wasn't for this person, it wouldn't happen. Mm. I wanted it to be able where it doesn't matter who it is. It's the show must go on. Right. right. So at some point there's going to be a podcast where it's just Gotti and Westy. That'll be, that, that's hard. That, that'll be a good one, bro. That's <laughs> what I would watch, bro. Just to see, just to see how they interact, bro. I'm curious. Yeah. I mean, cause again, like, um, we're, we're a team. You know what I mean? And um, that's why I'm going to talk about the cooking show after mm-hmm. after the fact because um, I have an idea for that. Um, and we, the freestyles are going to come back once um, everybody is free because, you know, guests are hard to come by, especially during a pandemic. Mm-hmm. Nobody wants to talk to you <laughs> um, unless they have a mask on or whatever. Um, my computer is kind of – I can't – I don't think I could do the live ones anymore because um, my computer needs to be plugged into a source. Mm. You know what I mean? And the next computer I'm getting is not going to be a laptop. Or it's going to be a desktop. Yeah. Okay. So um, essentially, when we do the freestyles, it's either going to be cypher-wise where we use like the podcast set for the for the live takes, like, you know, take it in the basement type mm-hmm. shit, or... Uh, we just do the already pre-recorded freestyle videos. Right. Essentially just record music videos for people. You know? Yeah. We got to keep going somehow. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah we, would, we would like to do the, the live ones still, but I can't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, we'll figure out a way to do the live ones. Uh, at least at least the live ones to the extent where it was like, say, Will in the back of a car. Oh, yeah. like, basically, like, live ones in weird places. Yeah. We're not doing those anymore. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, that I, one was fun to do. Uh, yeah. We're still, we're, we still can. We still can. But um, uh, it takes a certain amount of preparation yeah. to do those. Yeah, that fucking, that car one, bro. That took, that took, what, six, no, five people, six people, two cameras, and two cars. Yes. That... And it was about the rain. That <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe here and there we'll do the live ones in weird places yeah. and stuff like that. Um, we just, to be honest, we just need a a, a laptop, which we kind of do have. But um, 
it's we don't want to put it at a risk because the other one's already failing. Mm. So, so um, if one if, if the one if the good one fucks up, <laughs> if it, then, yeah, then we're really out. Fucked. We're out yeah. of luck. Yeah, and then we're gonna be delayed another until we get it replace it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But um, I need to get the I want to get the powerhouse computer. That way, all this shit that we're doing, video, photos, recording, and all the extra shit we're gonna do goes to that computer. And these laptops take a break because we're fucking killing them <laughs> <laughs> while this production we're doing on them. Yeah. My fucking computer right now, the one that's that needs to be plugged in, I can change the battery, but they don't make them no more because <laughs> they're old. That, sh- that shit is on four gigs of RAM, and I need at least eight to run certain things. So I can't even edit a PDF with my shit God <laughs> <laughs> at the moment because it's so fucking slow. So yeah. I, I need those upgrades, and, uh, and upgrades are costly at the moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, again, um, <laughs> donate to our Patreon. <laughs> yeah. Up, yeah. Fucking donate to our Patreon. Um, by the time of this release, it should be up. Um, uh, I already signed us up. I was just trying to figure out some shit. I have a GoFundMe up where if you guys want to find those. Oh, <laughs> do you actually? I actually have a GoFundMe Yeah. Well, why didn't you tell anybody dog? Uh, cause I was trying to figure out how oh. things work. Oh, I got you. Um, this is things we're, we're going to discuss off air, mm-hmm. sir. Uh, but yeah, donate, um, by the time this airs, um, that all that stuff should be up. If you guys want to um, donate, uh, th- right now the GoFundMe is going for the computer itself, trying to raise like three grand. <laughs> That's a lot. That is a lot. But um, and you know, the only re- like I could work for it and, and try to get it, which I'm gonna try to do. Aside from that, but you know, I have to pay for college, my bills, and my car and stuff like that. So any. Any little bit will help yeah. and stuff like that. Um, if anybody wants to pitch in, they can. But uh, for the moment, that's up there. Um, like, I'm basically going to work for it at the same time as people are donating and stuff like that. That way, I can get to it sooner. Mm-hmm. That way, I don't have to rely on, you know, fans and stuff like that. You know, because as much as, like, it helps a lot, you know, people do it all the time. Um, I kind of don't, I kind of want to, like, not rely. I got you. On, 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 on the charity of other people. Yeah. Fucking yeah, bro. I was um, the reason I like I wanted to own, like get this little job that I'm only working a few days at, so I can focus back on like recording, like music and putting shit out. Yeah. Like not not freestyles per se, but just like actual songs. You feel me? That's that's because I felt like I was working so all like so like so many days for whatever job that I had, I was just putting everything into that and I wasn't like focused on it. I feel like that's why I lost all the motivation and shit. So I was just like, and that's why I'm kind of hesitant to like jump back into, to blue martini. Cause I know what's going to happen. It's like, I'm, I'm going to tell them I can only work one day, but they're going to ask me to work other days. You feel me? It's like, so I, I, I don't know. I'm, I really just want to focus on this shit. That, that's the thing Usually a lot of Like for example YouTubers and stuff like that They have those moments Where they're like They drop everything Yeah To, to pursue this shit Full, full, full force mm-hmm. But um That's the thing You still got You still got them bills to pay Them bills don't stop Just cause you wanna be a rapper You feel what I'm saying Exactly like, But like like, But the thing is The What they usually don't tell you Is they They usually have money saved up You know what mm-hmm. I mean They work their asses off At their jobs You know To save that money To then quit And then you know Put invest yeah their time in that youtube and and, because they know that because they have a trajectory where it's coming back already Mm -hmm. where it's like that's what i'm saying like if i can make minimum wage with this yeah i can quit my job and go full term with this and and, and keep increasing or whatever but um you know the fucking pandemic and shit like that so i'm out of a job you know what i mean so um yeah, bro. But I've been I've been doing like odd jobs here and there and stuff like that. So I'm I'm still I'm still going, and um, <clears throat> de- de- dedicating enough time for at least to finish my school shit, which I fucking you know doing projects here and there, and um, you know doing verses for people, and um, fucking writing and stuff like that. So I still have stuff that I can still do. Um, since I came back from Tally, um, now we're, I'm here with you guys, and we can get back to recording these videos oh yeah and that's um, that's i'm, I'm I, I was thinking about it bro like i'm really really like i'm, I'm gonna get it in gear you feel me because mm-hmm. when like the time i was working at the casino because i was working overnight that shit fucked up my entire like just 
internal schedule, like internal clock. You feel me? Like I was eating at like weird times. Like my sleep schedule was like I couldn't. I it was it was weird how it affected me so deeply. Like it, it like it, and it really got me into a place where I was just like I was just like I I couldn't I couldn't worry about anything else except for that fucking job. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. because I, I was so like damn I gotta. I got to make sure I get enough sleep because then I'm going to be up all night and I have to drive late. You feel me? And it's like if I because there, there'd be times where I'm driving to work and I'm falling. I'm like falling asleep. You feel me? And it's just like, damn, this, this I know this is dangerous. I know this is fucking me up. And it got me to like where I was like super just fucking like just down in the shit. Like I couldn't I couldn't come up with any like I couldn't write. I couldn't do shit. And it's because like I was putting so much energy in it like. And not even like because the job was hard. I was just putting all my energy into revolving my schedule around that shit. You know what I'm saying? But now that I'm, I got this shit where I'm just like not working these crazy hours and shit. It's like I I, I feel better. Like it, like mindset wise. Yeah. I you feel you. me? Like I can I can I can actually jump in the studio, record some, come up with some. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm getting ideas. I'm getting shit going. Like. I'm getting I'm getting that feeling back. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Um the feeling that I had before a lot of this shit was uh basically damn. Um the the thing that everybody the conversation that I had with everybody along the lines, like, you know, during like the guests that we had and stuff like that and or like teachers and like or like other people that I see in school and stuff like that. And um, people I would talk to, um, and they'll be like, "Yo, you know, what are you trying to do and stuff like that?" And I was always, ha- I would always have this long ass list of shit. You know what I mean? That I'm still trying to do, of course, because you know, I'm a big dreamer. <laughs> and um, I don't know, but yeah. So a lot of times, I would think to myself, I would just sit there. I'm like, "Oh, what about this? What about that? Shit, I gotta do this. Fuck, I gotta do that." And then I'm like, "All right." I got to start from the bottom again. You know, I need to find something that's consistent enough first. Mm -hmm. Get that to a good place and then move on. So I chose the podcast. It's the easiest. Definitely. Yeah. (laughs) You feel me? Because this because this is what we just do when we're together anyway. We just fucking shoot shit. You feel me? And so so I feel like this is definitely like uh, and it's and it's fun, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I I have fun doing the podcast. You feel we me? We get like, our differences out. We yeah. talk business. Yeah, you feel me? It 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 provides a platform, and I feel like it makes us makes us better in a way because we're like not only communicating with each other, talking to an audience. You feel me? Getting comfortable in front of the camera. You feel me? Behind yes. microphone. You feel me? Like I, it, it's building that like sense of confidence in in, in our abilities you feel what i'm saying yeah so basically i wanted to put my best foot forward at one thing first mm. so basically like all, all the times where i was just like yo i'm gonna buy a capture card i'm gonna buy the, the you know the cam link and stuff like that for the podcast it would always get stopped by something else that i was doing mm. like oh i gotta release this project so that money going there i'm like damn and then i regret it because i'd be like damn i should have put my money towards that and i would have got that shit out of the way yeah you know what i mean so i was just like all right wh- I'm like I'm not making albums every fucking day or like yeah. every week, so I'm like I need me let me let me put my efforts towards something that's happening often. Right. So the podcast was happening weekly. Yeah, you know I mean, As, there was points where we stopped and stuff like that, but that was you know neither here or there because of you know certain circumstances people were working and stuff like that. But now that we got a we got a a, a schedule set, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, and we did it through through COVID and stuff like that with you know. And we're like, oh, and we're, you know, doing the Zoom calls because, you know, we couldn't be together mm. or whatever. Like, right now, we're six feet apart. Yeah, <laughs> we're, so, we're being socially responsible. Don't don't you worry, guys. You know what I mean? So it's like, if we're going to do the Zoom calls, we can just start introducing the video podcast. You know what I mean? Mm. Even though the, the first two or three were kind of like, shit, at least we figured it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, we we got all the stuff together. And now that we actually have the format going of like how we're uploading it, how we're going to, you know, um, how the audio is going to work and stuff like that. Now we can focus on how to making the camera work better. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, doing two cameras, the lighting and stuff like that. And then once we get that shit figured out, we can 
like I now that I got you know at least some form of the video video podcast because it was it, it was in the back of my head like how are we gonna do that shit how are we gonna do that shit right like I wanna I wanna do like I don't even have a computer for that shit you know what I mean we figure it out with the shit we have and now we can move on to other like the other problems that were you know I was thinking about but didn't need weren't urgent. Mm-hmm. As much as, you know, us telling people like, yo, video podcast coming out soon and then not happening. And it's weekly. So it's like people are like, well, <laughs> <laughs> it's been it's been 25 weeks. Where's it at? <laughs> it's been so many episodes. Yeah. What happened? You know what I mean? So um, you can see the pro- the progression for these podcasts from, you know, it's still happening and stuff like that. So now that's taken care of. Um, I feel like n- now I f- at least I feel more comfortable um you know, fixing the issues for the other projects that I have I in I have in store for myself and for you guys. Um but yeah. It's crazy to me, bro, how we're already almost at fucking fifty, bro. It yeah. feels like it feels like episode one was so long ago. It was. When 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 did we record it? Like it was it, it wasn't the end of twenty eighteen, was it? No, it was uh twenty nineteen August. Damn, bro. It, it, feel, it feels like so long ago. Like, because just I like to, like, listen to the podcast, like, objectively, as, like, as objectively as I can. So I try to put myself in the position of somebody who doesn't know us, you feel me, hearing it. You feel me? So I, I've listened to every, well, most of them. The Zoom ones, like I, like I was telling you earlier, are fucking unwatchable for me. I can't yeah. do them. So, uh, so, yeah, I would I would listen to them and watch the ones we have out. And like, it's it's so crazy how how much it's like how different it is. You feel me? And and just like the way we talk and shit. Because like, I don't know. It's 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 weird to me, but it's good. You feel me? It's it's. I don't even know how to describe it. Um, aside from like, yeah, um, a, a lot of people um probably you know tuning in. I don't know because you know people tune in from different times and stuff like that. So they usually have a lot of questions. So um. They're probably like, yo, who the fuck is this guy? Or whatever yeah. the fuck. Uh, <laughs> so I feel like we have to keep introducing ourselves from time to time. Mm. Or like, um, I guess at some points we're going to start doing Q&As. Um, so I, I think we've said it many times on other podcasts <laughs> where it's like, yo, if you have any any questions to email or like to comment on yeah. Instagram, uh, follow us on Instagram. At foreign entities, I I looked at our YouTube page and I realized we don't have a lot of links to our socials, like on the about me and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. if I mean they could comment on the lot on the last podcast and we just pull questions from there. Um, we can also pull questions from email, which is foreign entities one at gmail dot com. If you guys want to, you know, email us your questions or whatever. Oh wow, man, I would love that. It's just just I, yeah. I want to know what other people's problems are. You feel me? <laughs> Yeah, you know, if you want some advice on certain topics, you know. It uh, won't be good advice, but it's advice. It's some advice. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a good perspective. <laughs> take you take know? it at your own risk. Take it at your own fucking risk. It's it, it's more of a, like an insight where it's like, oh, maybe you want to see it from somebody else's point of view or whatever the fuck. Um, but, yeah, at the end of the day, you got to remember we're still trying to figure this shit out, too. And um, if you want to hear a real progression from podcast to podcast, you listen to the Blue Flamingo podcast. Oh, and oh man, what a fucking atrocity the Blue Flamingo podcast was, bro. I hate it. <laughs> and you, and then you come over here, and then you see, you know what, these guys, you know what, they're on to something. Yeah. So yeah, like, um, as much as like, like, as like a lot of these things do feel like a long time because we had, we've had these projects before, mm-hmm. and you know they fell through because you know again equipment it's always equipment how to use it you know what i mean and and again like we're coming from backgrounds where it's like i i my background for all of this shit is usually just audio so once you introduce video to it i got it's like i gotta take another course <laughs> you know what i mean and a lot and even then like you know there's a lot of like for example this framing is probably not you know up to standards or whatever the fuck but like you, we're gonna get there yeah you know what i mean you just gotta work with us and move with us <laughs> and maybe comment below and be like hey you fucking idiots you should do this <laughs> yeah we're here to hear it <laughs> oh definitely bro we're yeah, if, if you content. guys have some fucking advice you want to give to us feel free <laughs> because you feel me? at the end of the day we're here to entertain um and 
build relationships, you know, build a community and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Uh, at least that's where um, we're trying to do with the podcast part of this. Everything else is more entertainment. But, you know, um, if you want to get to know us, uh, usually listen to these podcasts and realize how crazy and stupid we are. <laughs> <laughs> and realize how much of idiots uh, maybe you think we're nice, maybe you think we're mean, maybe you think we're assholes, maybe you think all of the above. It doesn't matter. At least you knew. <laughs> yeah. Damn, bro. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What happened Uh-oh. there? Did we forget to press the OK button? Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Should I go press my my OK button? Hmm? Should I go press my OK button? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Here we hold go on. Hold this. on. You have to turn it on. Is this one off? Uh, the screen is off. All right. I just, oh, there we go. It's back on. All right. Cool. All, All right. right. Yours is probably still off. Yeah, Mine, yours is still off. Mine's off. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Turn it on. Turn it off. Okay. It's off. Turn it on. It's on. Sorry. I got I got hella into this conversation. Is what it was. So I forgot. Hey, do you think the, the square is going to be back? <laughs> uh, it shouldn't. All right. I don't need to press the down button, do I? Hold on. Yeah, please excuse us while we figure this out. Speaking of the button that looks like a camera. All right, back. We're back. Yeah. All right. I mean, people. Like I said, people go through these problems all the time. They got. <laughs> they got to change their batteries or something. Case in point, motherfuckers. <laughs> Damn dog. But yeah, like I said, the first thing we need to do is get rid of the fucking camera, get a new camera that doesn't have to do that. But like I said, that's in due time because we got other shit to do. You know what I mean? Um, next next stop is the computer that needs a, mm-hmm. I need it. You know what I mean? Damn, bro. That's, when 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 did we put up the first the first episode of Blue Flamingo? Probably in 2015. Damn. 2015, 2016. It was before Roses. Yeah, it was before Roses. You know, I was always afraid that when would these cameras turn off and what we would have to do to fix them, not that bad. Oh, we should just turn them off and turn them back on again? Well, that one. Oh, yeah. That one. This one is... Um, what are what are the chances you think the audio is fucked up now? Um, no, no. I'm not Victor, man. I don't leave the lens cap on. I don't leave the lens cap on. No, um, the audio only fucked up because we never got the cameras to turn back on, mm. and we had to reset the devices. And we'll, and when you reset the devices, it resets the audio. But we didn't need to do that because we just turned it back on and everything was back to normal, and we're still recording. Nice. You know what I mean, um, stuff like that. I don't, I don't know if you've ever seen. Um, I'm always reverting back to like things that I've seen where it's like, oh, that's just okay. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you watch the old um, RT podcast, mm. it would go. They would have a black screen from time to time because they didn't have. Um, I think because the batteries would die and they would switch them out, so they'll switch back to the other camera that still had battery nice. and then go back to the other one. Nice. That's so, pretty much just about what the fuck we're doing. Luckily, these cameras get. We can plug them in. Yeah, uh, see, exact. That's what I was thinking. See, originally I was gonna buy, and um, I realized I haven't been switching back and forth. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> it doesn't really. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, I, haven't been, just, yeah. I haven't been switching back and forth. <laughs> I'm also looking at this fucking laptop, so I'm always looking down instead of over here. Um, um. Anyways, um, I was thinking, I'm like, oh, because I was looking at camera people, mm. and they were like, oh, double battery pack extend your life and stuff like that whoop de woo and I'm like alright that's good alright cool cool so I'm looking at double battery packs how much they cost I'm, how how bigger does it make your camera because it's usually a big ass clip that goes on the bottom and essentially you can extend your uh, battery's life by two batteries so you, you put two batteries in there and you clip it on cool and then I thought to myself that's a uh, that's like a good idea for weddings <laughs> yeah I mean because you're shooting pictures all day oh yeah 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 I'm like, and that's good for video. You know what I mean? That way you don't have to keep charging it and stuff like that. Like maybe we're out on a long video shoot. But I'm like, our podcasts go for two hours sometimes. You know what I mean? I'm like, then what? And I'm like, do they have, I'm like, I looked up, I'm like, do they have corded ones? You know what I mean? Like they, like a, like a, um, and then I looked it up and they did. I was like, oh shit. Why didn't they tell me to get this? <laughs> I'm like, oh, cause you had to talk to the videographers. 
for shit like that. Yeah, you know I mean the the photography people are not gonna have those. Um, well, they are maybe. I don't fucking know. You just get you just look for it in your head. And I'm like, oh, they actually have it, so I bought those instead, and uh, it's working way better now. We don't have to worry about charging shit or mm-hmm. whatever. Um, if we keep doing shoots like set wise, um, we don't need to do the double battery. At some point, we're gonna have to do the double battery, but at that, at that I feel like at that point, we're gonna have um, better cameras. So mm-hmm. it doesn't. Like buying a double battery for this camera is just gonna be a nuisance because we're not gonna use it. Right. How long? How long does this like your camera battery last? Two hours. An hour. Hmm. Like, I, but then again, we we only shoot. We don't shoot full fledged music. Right, videos. right. We right. do like the short um, freestyle video, so it it that's what it's good for. Yeah. It's an entry level shit, so it's not like we're shooting those. Like if I was shooting like some good 4K shit, like yeah, I would, those eat up a lot of mem- memory and battery. So I would have to buy the double battery pack. But that's that's so not needed right now because mm. it's like we're still 180p. Like yeah, we have some 4K stuff here and there, but do we? What do we have on 4K? No, like we have 4K capable stuff. Oh, okay, like I got our you. Phones. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? So it's I like you, yeah. it's not needed to push the the um the product we don't need it to push the product you know what i mean like like i told victor and westy before i'm not gonna buy i'm not gonna buy a camera that shoots in 4k if i don't have a computer that doesn't process 4k right you understand what i'm saying because if you try to put 4k on your laptop it'll fucking explode <laughs> exactly so like one thing at a time so basically that's what i say we gotta start from the bottom and work our way back up so with the projects to the podcast to then you know add the you know everything else and for equipment i have to start back where it started which is my computer everybody starts with a computer buy a new computer and then upgrade all the the equipment from there because like i said i'm not gonna buy new equipment if my computer can't handle it (laughs) i gotta basically uh, one step at a time you know what i mean um and I, i and i forgot I forgot people can finance things. Completely <laughs> slipped my mind. I can't believe it slipped my mind. I, I, in my, when I had a job, <laughs> back in the days when back, I had a job. Back in the days. I wanted to, you know, shorten what kind of bills I paid. You know, I was only paying my car and, you know, internet and whatever. And I was, I'm living with my mom. So it's like, there's a lot of things that are cut there. But, um, and I'm paying for college and stuff like that. So, cool. But, when I have some extra money laying around instead of, you know, um, other than, you know, paying for, you know, distributing my albums and stuff like that and, um, distributing the podcast and all that extra shit that I have to pay. Um, I forgot that while I had money to go just go around, I could have financed the computer and I completely forgot because <laughs> my, cause when it comes to, um, devices and shit like that, like for example, my phone, I pay up front. Like right. I don't, I don't like financing, other because a car makes sense to me because I don't have thirty grand right, right, <laughs> to just be like here you go. <laughs> I would like to, same thing with a house. I would like to pay <laughs> cash. Yeah, <laughs> but shit don't work out like that. You need to build your credit. Yeah. So I forgot that people finance shit. You know what I mean? And um, I was like, you know what? When when I when I get my job after you know moving and stuff like that after I get settled in the new house or whatever the fuck. Um, get a job and finance this computer, mm-hmm. like somebody would do with a phone. Right. You know what I mean, speaking speaking of financing phones, sorry, I don't know if you were finished or not, but I'm financing this one, so I'm paying it off. Mm-hmm. But remember, I told you that my uh, my debit card got stolen. Yeah. Uh, well, my 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 shit got stolen, so they uh, were just charging random fucking Uber trips in San Francisco. The bastards. Um, and they sent me the new card. I haven't switched, um, like the, the payment account shit for my phone. So they haven't charged it, which is good because I don't have money to pay it right now. You feel me? But I don't know if they're going to cut my shit or what. I'm waiting for them to send me an email or a letter. You feel me? Like another reason why I hate financing things is because of repo. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
there's for example i heard i i found out you could um you could finance a dog what you can finance a dog right okay turn me out <laughs> <laughs> that seems that seems wrong, bro. That se- that doesn't seem right, dude. Fucking some dogs cost like fucking ten grand. Oh yeah, that's true. I've never paid for a dog. Just adopt one. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why are you selling dogs? <laughs> <laughs> why are you? I'm not selling, why are you dog? selling dogs. <laughs> fucking no, because it was. We- I'm, I'm like, damn. Why would you finance a dog? They check your credit, of course. You know what I mean, I feel like if it was one of those like one of those like really like. Those like purebred, like fucking, like you, you, those those movie dogs. You feel me? Maybe pay for one, but like you just want. Even if it's a, even if it's a fucking mov- movie, <laughs> movie. <laughs> Imagine financing. Well, technically, you are financing financing a baby because <laughs> you're you have to pay for the hospital bills and stuff like that. But I doubt they're gonna repo your baby. <laughs> Do they repo the dog? Do they just fuck your credit up? It's probably they just fuck your credit up. Okay, but then. Like, what would they do if you can't pay it? That's a good question. Like, but, but who's... Because they have, they have tow trucks. Like, if you're not paying your car, they have tow trucks to come... Re- but what, are they going to send the fucking... The pound? The pound? What the fuck are they going to do? You know what I'm saying? Like... I don't know. Um, I don't know. But one of the funniest things about the financing dog thing is that, um, for example, if the dog dies, say, like, a day later... You still got to pay for it. <laughs> no, 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 no. They give you another dog. They give you another dog. It depends on the application. They give you another dog. <laughs> right? Oh wow. Okay, oh. so so just my immediate my immediate thoughts were, oh that's cool, but then I'm just like, wait, that's so fucked up. How yeah. it's just so replaceable. Yeah. Like this is a living thing. This is a exactly, creature. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. So they give you another dog of equal price. Oh Christ. That sounds so terrible, bro. But it it it, it has to die in a certain time frame. Like, but it, and also you can't return it because you're financing it. And if you want to return it, you have to pay half of it. Damn, that was just just find a dog off the street bro, at that point. Imagine paying three, like, say you you got a dog for like I don't know six grand. Oh man! And you want to return it, you have to pay three grand to return it. Fuck that! I'm gonna just drop it off in a basket in their front door. <laughs> Again, this is not every agency, all right? All right? So if you're out there listening, like, hey, I don't do my dogs out like that, all right? It's, first, it's a flat rate, and uh, yeah. They charge interest on a dog. Yeah. Interest, really? Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but they fucking charge interest on the dog. So you're at the if the dog is worth eight grand, ten grand, or whatever the fuck, you're, it's like a car. You're, and you're going to end up paying more, for the, I guess, for the service. That's so fucked. When you can go to a fucking adoption center or a farm, <laughs> or a farm, <laughs> and go and get like what, uh, fill out a an application that they approve. You know what I mean? They gotta make sure your you know your house is quality, has enough room. Uh, are you cool with dogs? Are you not a serial killer? <laughs> right. The other place is your credit score fine. It doesn't matter if you're a serial killer or not. It doesn't matter if you eat dogs. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just hey, is your if credit you have score the fine? money to pay for it, the dog's yours. <laughs> You know what I mean? Meanwhile, fucking at the farmlands and stuff like that, they're like, hey, what kind of milk do you drink, right? <laughs> trying to figure you out. <laughs> what kind of milk you drink? You they drink goat to, milk? Huh? They, they, they try to suss you out. So, um, yeah, so you, you, they charge interest on a dog and whatever the fuck, and if it dies in like a week or whatever, they replace it. Damn, that's fucking crazy, bro. At that point, they're just giving dogs away for free. If they can just replace it. Oh, yeah. Um, I, oh, man, that's... That's so, that's so, oh, uh, that seems wrong to me. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe because it's a dog, you feel me? But I, putting, I don't know. Putting dogs on layaway. Yeah, put, putting dogs on layaway. No, nah, dog. That's wild. Yeah, just adopt at that point, bro. Do you have to pay? You don't have to pay for adoption, do you? Yeah, you do. How, do you? Yeah, you have to pay um, application fees. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. But it's cheaper than getting a 10 grand dog. Yeah, yeah. You only have to pay the application fee if they approve you. Mm, I got is you. what it is. It's not like, oh, let me fill out an application. You have to pay to fill out an application. They, they, uh, you only pay if they accept you. Mm. Essentially, you're paying three hundred dollars to basically have the dog get its shots done. Mm. It's clean, no fleas and stuff like that. Other than getting it from a pound, where they're just uh, getting you have to go get the shots yourself. Well, it depends where you go. 
Some places you have to go get the shots yourself. You're paying money regardless. <laughs> you're not gonna just. You're not gonna get a healthy dog. All right, you're not unless you steal it from somebody's house. But even then, it's probably missing something. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's kind of that's kind of how we uh like both of well we didn't steal them. One like our neighbor gave us a dog, and we found the other one. Like my sisters were just around the neighborhood one day, and they saw this little puppy just walking around. They picked it up and took it. Now it's our dog. It's been with us for nice. <laughs> what eight eight years, seven years? I mean, yeah. The other one died. Rest in peace. Other people, um, nice people, usually, um, they uh, have their dog uh, fuck other dogs, and they have puppies, and they just start giving those puppies away. Or they sell them. They do sell them. You're right. Those bastards. Yeah. Bastards. Not bad. You got to make money ho- somehow, right? No. Yeah. When um, when when Gotti was uh, talking about having his dog uh, fuck his other dog, you feel me? I was I was I wanted one, bro. I wanted one of the puppies, dog, because it's like because they're both pit bulls. You feel me? So it's like I don't know. I, I wanted I wanted one of them. I, but if if they're gonna make me pay for it, fuck that. I don't know, just, I just want to have a dog. I want a free dog. I want a free dog. Is what it is. <laughs> I've never paid for a dog in my life. I'm not gonna start now. Go catch a dog. Uh, I feel like that's hard, bro. Well, not really. You just need a piece of ham on a string, right? Yeah. I realized in the coming of age, my coming of age, I'm a cat guy. I like cats. Yeah, I fucking hate cats, bro. Why do you hate cats? I don't know. I just don't like them. They, they're, when they're just kind of like, you feel me? They're just kind of, eh. They're just there. They're Listen, just, cats are cool. Yeah, I guess. It's cool I cat. guess. It depends on what cat, because not all cats are cool, bro. Some cats are fucking dickheads. Yeah, but it's how you treat them. Or how you raise them. I, some uh, pitbulls nah, eat nah. kids and some don't. Nah, nah, nah. Let's nah. be real. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You can walk a fish and sometimes you can't. <laughs> Nah, bro. Because I feel like even 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 people who like have cats and like cats admit like cats are mostly assholes. Yeah, the dickheads. Bro. They're mostly assholes. <laughs> the dickheads. Yeah, they are. <laughs> you feel? I don't know. I feel like the ratio's off. Like there's there's more there's more dickhead cats than there are cool cats. You feel me? Yeah. Okay. Such is in real life, I guess. I, I guess I just like the chill aspect of it, where mm-hmm. I don't have to worry about um, pleasing a dog too much. Even though yeah. they're, they're like, oh, yeah, but they're happy creatures. You don't have to please them for shit. It's like, yeah, but... You see, uh, no, I, I, I'll, I'll give you that. They Dogs are definitely more work than cats. Definitely 100% more work than cats. I'll, I'll right. give you that. Fucking, um, I was looking, um, dogs get anxiety and shit and fucking other shit, or they get, like... Oh, yeah, bro. Attachment Fuck issues. It. Yeah, during, my during like, thunderstorms and shit, I got to tie a fucking plastic bag around my dog. Because <laughs> it, it, it like uh, it calms them because it makes them feel like they're being like held. You feel me? Yeah. But um, but yeah. And my dog is a fucking asshole. My dog is a dickhead, bro. <laughs> I know. I just I hate, said, cat. <laughs> I hate cat. I hate cats because they're because because cause they're dickheads. No, no, no. But he's he's not a dickhead in the way of just like he, he's like he's like. Trying is he? He's doing dog shit. You feel me? He's doing dog things. He's doing dog stuff. <laughs> he's barking. Yeah, he's he he. And what what bothers me is my dog cries so fucking much. Like he wants attention, right? Eat and, bacon. <laughs> he'll fucking he'll fucking cry when you're not giving him attention, right? And then you'll go and you start playing with him. You start petting him, and then he'll start crying when you're playing with him. And it's just like, dog, what the fuck do you want? Why are you still crying? <laughs> What do you want? <laughs> what do you want, dog? <laughs> what do you want, dog? I have to keep looking at this camera just because it's weird for me to be looking over here and then talking. I have to look over here and be like, hey, guys, remember. <laughs> or look at you. Because it looks weird every time I look at this laptop. Continue. <laughs> nah, nah. But, um, but yeah, my dog loves to shit in the house. I sw- Oh, my God. My my dog. And it's it, we fucking walk him. We let him outside. We treat them good, you feel me? We, feed <laughs> we treat them good. We feed them good shit, you feel me? But still, he shits in the house. We, he, sh- he just shits in the house. He won't stop. You feel me? It's like, why are we letting you outside? You should buy fake grass. No. Sorry. Buy another house outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a dog house. Yeah, get a dog house. Or, and then make them shit out there. Nah, because then, because what my dog does... Is when he's outside and whenever he wants to come back inside, 
he knows where my window is. So he goes by my window and just starts fucking barking and barking. barking. And he doesn't stop. He <laughs> doesn't. <laughs> barking. <laughs> That's the thing. He just doesn't fucking stop. He That's just cute. keeps going. And I'm just some like, people say it's cute. Oh wow, he knows where you. Yeah, it, no, 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 no. Yeah, sure, it's cute for like the first two minutes when it's fucking six in the morning <laughs> and you're still trying to sleep. You feel me? And then it gets really fucking aggravating, and you're just like, shut the fuck up. And you feel me? And it's like, <laughs> because, <laughs> ah, man, it's just it's it's, it's sometimes you know. You should got a cat, bro. Fuck that. I would rather have a barking dog than a fucking silent cat. I do. You know. I mean, cats talk sometimes. Oh yeah, what do they say? Meow, <laughs> meow. No, but you ain't you ain't never seen the TikTok where the girl's bathing the cat and the cat's like, "I'm cold." Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen that shit. I'm cold. <laughs> yes. Yeah, hey, bro. <laughs> they be talking, bro. They be talking. They be, they be yapping. yapping bro. They be yapping. <laughs> Fucking yapping. yapping. I'm yapping. Nah, dog. Fucking cats are cool, man. I guess. I, dude, they fucking shit on a box, man. They go, they, you know what I mean? Wherever you place it, right? You Maybe you put it in the laundry, right? <laughs> and they go over there and dig a couple, of whatever the fuck, take a shit and bury it. I don't know, bro. I just feel like <laughs> I would I would get hurt more by a cat than I would by a dog. Not, not even that. It's just like I don't want to get scratched by a cat because every time I've seen somebody with cat scratches, they look like they look horrendous. They look terrible. They look like they were <laughs> they cut look, up by knives. <laughs> they look deadly. <laughs> they look deadly for real, bro. It looks it looks I'm like, damn, that shit looks like it hurts, bro. Cause they just look like I don't know. I No, it hurts. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I've been scratched by a cat. <laughs> but like dogs They cling on you. Yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> exactly. Bro, bro, this cat, bro, that um they had in Tallahassee, bro. I was about to steal the cat, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um Sometimes it'll just be I don't know I think she gives a cat dip Or some shit So sometimes It'll just be running around The house and shit like that And it'll like Run into a wall Or some <laughs> shit and Throw itself off a couch And shit And then it'll be like it'll, it'll, it'll be like And then it'll just jump on you And then it'll just like Cling on you Right And you Imagine getting stabbed Like five times Yeah bro. no bro <laughs> It goes deep Yeah bro Now imagine walking around With no shirt on Forgetting <laughs> that you have a cat In the room and it just clings on even to your worse stomach. Of, like even worse. <laughs> Imagine walking around with no pants on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but fucking, um, bro, I don't know what it was, bro, because it's hard to, because once you, like, bat the cat off of you, it goes in the defensive mode and scratches you even more. So you just got to look at it clinged on to you, and you just like... <laughs> just remain calm. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't fling this cat out of the window. <laughs> and it's just looking at you like... <laughs> Like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I remember um, one time when we were younger, my mom used to clean a house we for... Were young. Uh, she used to clean this house for this fucking guy. And he had a pool and he had these two dogs. And sometimes we would, like, just... My mom would let us, like, just run around his fucking house because he had a big-ass yard. And this, yeah. It was a nice fucking house. And uh, one time when my sisters were in the pool and they jumped off, like, this little, like... Um, it wasn't like a like a board or anything. It was just like a elevated uh, uh -huh. platform. So they jumped off of that, and my mom had let the dogs outside. So I guess the dogs had thought that my sister was drowning. So <laughs> they jump in the pool and just like kind of jump on my sister's back, and they're just like like scratching her back, kind of drowning her almost. Uh -huh. You feel me? Because they're trying to like save her from the pool and shit. But yeah, she almost died. Dogs almost killed her, bro. <laughs> See, a, a cat won't do that. Yeah, I guess. But a cat won't either. <laughs> won't, also, it won't save you from drowning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's it's a give and take. The thing is, if you know how to swim, well, you don't need a dog. I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess so, dog. Nah. Look, 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 look. Fishes know how to swim, right? Mm -hmm. You're not going to throw a fish in a fucking pool <laughs> to save you from drowning now, Maybe are you? you're not. <laughs> Does he ever want a dolphin? <laughs> Damn, that f fucking. Um, but but the thing about it is, like, I'm gonna press my button soon. If if you have if you have a cat, cats are shit, bro. Like they don't. They dude, don't, cats are shit, dude. They, they you, don't, you don't have the no reason. Don't you have no shit. regular look, reason. Look, 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 look. You because, don't have a reason because my dog, my dog, right? 
when there's somebody around that that we don't know or that's not usually around the house, he barks. So we know that somebody that's not supposed to be there is there. You feel me? It's like an alarm system almost. Dude, cats hiss. When you're not gonna. That's no. Cats be like. <laughs> but you're not gonna fucking hear that at three in the morning in your no, room. No, 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 no. You're not listen, gonna hear that. Listen, bro. I've heard a cat at three a.m. Bro, it's horrendous, dude. Nah, <laughs> but they're. It's like. It's like. <laughs> yeah, you're like, dude, what the fuck is that? And that's that's just a horny cat, is what it is. Yeah. When they're doing that noise, <laughs> you're absolutely right. That's just a horny cat, <laughs> fucking. Um, but no, nah, that's what I'm saying. A cat, it's not gonna let you know that somebody's trying to break in your crib at three in the fucking morning. Am you I? feel me? My dog is gonna fucking bark his little ass off. You feel me? Somebody's gonna wake up. I don't know. I feel like dogs are just. I feel overall. like I feel like I feel like dogs are superior. They're, they're they just have, I, I feel dogs are superior. That's it. <laughs> That's right? not it. There's more pros. Dude, you fucking install a fucking security system in your home. Do you have money to install a security system? I no. fucking sure as shit don't. You think I'm getting a Google smart home? You feel me that I can lock my door from my I home? I can't afford no. a cat. <laughs> Let Neither can I. I found mine. <laughs> Go outside. I'm sure there's a hundred cats out there, bro. I'm just waiting for See, you to get picked he up. He just admitted he has a cat. You hear that? Nah, nah, I got alley cats, bro. <laughs> he just admitted he had my, a cat. My neighbor feeds him. He just admitted he had a cat. You see that? Mm-mm, mm-mm. No, I sir. said I can't afford a cat. He said I found mine. <laughs> <laughs> I found my dog. I found my pet, I should say. See, he's trying, to, he's trying to fix it. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. I'm going to press my button now. All right. I, I, hmm. I guess it makes sense. You look go like press a your cat button. guy. <laughs> I'll go press my okay button. You said I look like a cat guy? Yeah. Yeah. Cause Why? Because my fucking beard looks like a scratch post? No. <laughs> <laughs> I got to stop. Every time before you said that, I always switch back. <laughs> so, so it's just a camera full of your uh, your, um, my your bottom half. <laughs> oh, nice. They need to see you. Because ta- the thing is, you start <laughs> you start talking while you're still up there. Yeah, because I'm so, assuming that you still have your camera on you. Well, then stop talking. <laughs> Cause I'm like, all right, he's talking. I have like involuntary. I just switch uh, I back and you. forth and stuff like that. So like when <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, then I look, I hear you talking, switch back, and I look at the the laptop, and I just see your junk. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But yeah, bro, cats, bro. <laughs> cats. What's the deal with them? But I'm not getting no fish though. Oh fuck fish, fuck fish, dude. Fuck birds too. Birds. Yeah, I don't think birds should be in cages. Well, I don't think a lot of animals. I don't think any animal should be in a cage. I mean, but, but you're not keeping a dog in a cage. That's true. Well, sometimes. And I'm not keeping a cat in a cage. That's weird. Well, what if you have to carry him around? What if you have to take him somewhere? What are you going to do? Put him in a basket? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you can walk a cat. And you can walk a dog. You can't walk a fish. <laughs> you can't walk a fish, dude. I mean, again, with fish, it's more of a tank situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, all right, a big fish should be in a big ass, in a small ass tank. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Fucking yeah, bro. I don't like. I don't like. I like birds, right? Here's the thing. It's 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 weird. I like looking at birds. It, it's the same thing with lizards. It's just, it, I like looking at them. It's it's with birds, fish, and lizards. It's it's the same situation. I like looking at them. I like seeing them do. Bird shit, lizard <laughs> shit, uh, fish shit. I like seeing them do bird stuff. You know, like their shit. I like seeing them do it. You feel me? But not around me. You feel me? I don't like them. I only I, watch them on TV. Yeah, bro, because birds are fucking weird. If you look at them up close, birds are fucking gross. They're gross animals. They look disgusting. I hate the way birds... I like the way they look. I just hate the way they are. You know, I just don't Wait, want them the, around me. What the me. fuck is the problem? What's so filthy about birds? It's not that they're filthy. It's not that they're filthy. It's just they look. What do you got against birds? They look bro? soulless. You know what I'm saying? If any animals, if, if like, because when you look at a mammal, right, like like a dog or a cat, for example, it, it it's like there's something a little bit more going on. Like there's some more cognitive development there. I feel. You feel me? And then like a dog or like a mammal or something. But when you get into birds and lizards and fish, I feel like it's it's only surviving. You know, it's only being a bird. You know what I'm saying? What, about, you, the, what about the ones that talk? That's just that's just mimicking uh, sound patterns, bro. That's nothing fucking impressive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do that. Me, look. <laughs> ah, face ass. 
And and even then, it takes the birds who can do that shit. It takes them fucking years. So it's not like they're just picking that shit up. So <laughs> not, they're not quick with it. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're, they're not, quicker they're, with they're it. They're too maybe, slow. Maybe, <laughs> but right, they're too slow. They're too fucking slow. Nah, bro. But that's that's the thing. That's what, I don't know if it makes any sense, but it's just I, I like I like watching them. I like seeing them out. I like if I see a bird like a cool bird flying, I'm just like that's a cool fucking bird. I like seeing birds fly. Flying birds, nice. Birds on me, get that shit. Not out nice. Of me. Not nice. Don't like that. Don't like that shit. You want to put a fucking lizard on me? I'm gonna scream. I don't want it. I don't fucking want it, dog. I don't fucking want it. <laughs> I'm gonna scream. <laughs> so snakes is a no. Yeah, snakes is a big no for me. My um, my sister had a bearded dragon. Uh huh. And um, well, she still has it. Uh, wait, wait, fuck that bearded dragon has been around for a long fucking time. Dude, it's a fucking reptile. Yeah, but reptiles don't necessarily have long lifespans. You feel me? Some dude, of them fucking do. tortoises live for like <laughs> 130 years. Yeah, yeah, but that's tortoises. They're reptiles. I right? know. Yeah, yeah. But um, but yeah. So she has this bearded dragon, and um, one time she had just let that shit run around loose in her room, and she was like, "Hey, can you watch it?" And they're like, okay, where is it? <laughs> you step on it. And I'm just like, I'm just like that. She, no, no, no. Because what it was is like, oh, she's on my bed. Make sure that she doesn't fucking jump off. And I'm just like, you're asking the wrong dude because I'm going to let that fucking lizard jump off of that fucking bed. You got me fucked up if you think I'm picking that shit up. Have you seen a bearded dragon? Yes. I'm not picking Have that shit up. Have you seen anybody? Have you? <laughs> nah, dog. Uh, but yeah, bro, I'm like, fuck that. I'm, that's a big no for me. I don't like I don't like touching lizards. Maybe they like touching you. Doubt it. Turtles. Turtles are cool, bro. Dude, I saw a turtle on the road. What else? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. No. That's it. No. There's people who stop and pick turtles up and you know get, get them off the road. Nice people. I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh no. I don't know why I, I can't touch reptiles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I know. It's just like I'm not picking the turtle up. Maybe with some gloves on. I don't know. I don't want to hurt it. <laughs> yeah, I feel. I feel like lizards have like. First of all, I don't even like picking a lot of animals up. Like <laughs> unless it's like a like a full grown cat or a, or a, or a dog. Mm. It's like I don't because it's the same thing with um um how do I put this disabled people. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, go, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, please. <laughs> please explain. But there's a certain <laughs> amount of... Um, it's not that I'm scared of them. You know what I mean? Or whatever. You know, because you know how the hills of eyes or whatever the fuck, right? They have those deformed people on there. Uh, you know what I mean? It's not like that. Right. It's not like that where I'm just scared of them because, you know, are they going to kill me? No. It's more of the sense of um, responsibility where it's like... Um, they're as fragile. Some of them are as, as fragile as an egg to me. I got you. I you got you. I mean? Yeah, you don't so, know how how much of your force to apply. I I feel you. I feel so. You. I don't want to like. I don't want to kill them <laughs> or whatever. Like or hurt them. Like yeah. it's, it's it's the fear of not knowing. Where it's like, oh fuck. Uh, hey, can you help me with my wheelchair? And then oh shit, the fucking wheelchair just fucking breaks in half or whatever the fuck <laughs> because nobody told you that you were supposed to. Grab the handle, yeah. twist this, yeah, twist yeah, yeah. that, or whatever the fuck. You know how you take somebody's car or like somebody, or you go to, I don't know if anybody has dealt with this or whatever the fuck. You go to somebody's bathroom, right? And you can't flush the toilet properly because they have certain mechanics that you have to do <laughs> to, to make it work. Mm. Oh, you got to fucking hold it for two seconds, then wiggle it or whatever <laughs> the fuck. Take the top off, fill it up with water, put it back on, then flush. If you don't do that, the shit's just gonna break. Oh, like Victor's toilet <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> you feel me? So it's like it's it's a lot of that where it's like, um, like I'll help somebody or whatever, but I don't wanna I don't want to have sole responsibility mm -hmm. because I don't know the working kinks or like I don't know um, what they have oh, or yeah, like yeah. Um, and I don't want to fuck it up. You know, I don't want to just like. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. And, and then, then everybody's like, "Oh, you're a fucking real prick." Yeah, you're a you're fucking a real asshole. Oh, you don't know how to deal with this. What are you living in a rock or something? Yeah, it's I like that, that. So I'd rather not. <laughs> That's why every time like somebody asks me, somebody asks me to drive their car. Yeah. I always the first thing I ask them, I'm like, "Is there anything about this car that I need to know before I start driving?" And yeah, there's always something. There's always something. Oh, like, oh yeah, floorboard you, comes up yeah. every time you fucking go to McDonald's. Yeah. 
<laughs> <laughs> only it only happens at McDonald's, weirdly enough. Right? It's like, all right, well, cool. I'm going to Wendy's. It's like, no, 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 oh, no, you don't want to know what happens at Wendy's, dude. <laughs> Man, it's like, fuck, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's essentially that sense of responsibility. You yeah, know I mean? feel you, bro. Or like, um, because to be honest, like, there's not a lot of animals that I'm scared of if I see it. Mm. Um, there probably isn't one that I'm scared of, other than like the ones that move frantically. It's the element of surprise, I guess. It's not like, because you know how some people, they get scared when you show them an animal. Yeah. Even a picture. They're like, yeah. They're like, oh, gross. <laughs> yeah, like a picture of a bug or something. Yeah, and they're like, oh. Yeah. That never that's, yeah, that's, that, that, that's exactly my thought about birds. That's why I don't want them on me. Because I feel like they can they're just. unpredictable? Yeah, they can just turn at any time. You feel uh, me? Like, it doesn't seem like there's a tell. You feel me? Yeah. Because, like, with a dog, they'll growl at you. With a cat, they'll hiss at you. I feel like a bird is just going to start fucking scratching you with its <laughs> talons and shit. It's more secretive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you, you're not you're not going to tell. <laughs> so that's why. The elusive I, bird. <laughs> yeah, elusive bird. But that's no. why I feel like, like I don't want them on me or anything because it's just like. It's like the effect you get when a roach flies. <laughs> you're just like, what the fuck? Because you can skip. You could, you know, kill a roach, mm-hmm. squash it, fuck it, right? But then you, and then you just see it. Yeah, when <laughs> and you're like, fuck. Well, yeah, when it does something you're not expecting. Yeah, it's artillery. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, I have that um, fear with uh, this. Dude, this is one time at Cosmo Pepe's, they were like, um, they're trying to move this guy up to the 30s. And if you don't, for people who don't know, um, there's this place at the restaurant I used to work at. It was called the 30. And you had to move up a couple steps. And they weren't, like, short steps. You know how usually steps are just, you know, mm. foot length. Um, they were, like, wide steps. You know what I mean? So each um, each step is, like, two two tiles, two feet long. Wide? Mm. Long? Long or wide? No, wide. All right. You can fit, like, four people on one step for some reason, right? Essentially, right? And they wanted to move this guy that was on a wheelchair up those steps and stuff like that. And they needed help, but the guy wasn't going to get off. Essentially, you needed four guys <laughs> to move this guy and the chair. I don't know why they fucking moved. Why did they even put him up the stairs? Yeah, it seems a little irresponsible. <laughs> Anyways, um, it wasn't our fault. It was the people's fault because mm-hmm. we had a table. Uh, we actually had um, a table open, you know, for um, it's wheelchair accessible. Yeah. yeah, you know yeah. I mean, our rest- the restaurant is wheelchair accessible nowadays. Um <laughs> So fucking um, we had one open, but they're like, "Oh, we want a uh, a more private room, so we want to go upstairs or whatever the fuck." And I'm like, I, "I'm like," Ew. and then um, they're moving this guy up, and they're like, "Oh, um, call one of the buses." I cleared it. <laughs> <laughs> I cleared it, dude. I because I saw that they were gonna ask for help. Was I working there at that point? I think so. Cause I feel like they, I feel like I had an experience with a guy in a wheelchair that I had to fucking pick up some stairs. I don't remember if it was there. I've been in a lot of places with a lot of wheelchairs, but you were you were probably there. It was probably you that they made. Cause I was there and I was like, they were at the point where when I left, they were at the point where he was leaning back, <laughs> like he was already like forty five degree angle, and they were like, oh, we need one more person to actually lift them. And uh, before they even said anything, I already knew they needed the help. To begin with, and I took a bin and I cleared it. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Fuck that shit, dude," because I didn't want to be like, because I I didn't want to treat a fucking human being like a couch. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I get Like you. I didn't want like I, like if he like if it was a life or death situation, uh, sure. You know what I mean? But if it's one of those moments where it's just like, all right, twist them this way. <laughs> Tilt them that way. And the guy's just there like, why am I going up these stairs for? Yeah, I feel like that's a little dehumanizing, bro. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, I mean, like, bro, I remember this lady um, at the restaurant. She asked for her stroller to go up. Didn't remove the baby. So if you drop the baby, that's on you. Yeah. What a fuck. That's incredible. I'm like, bro, just take the baby out. <laughs> yeah, just hold it for like two seconds. Fold the stroller. Yeah, bro, that's fucking crazy. Don't bring a stroller. Car seat it. Yeah, like most people. Fucking Don't yeah. bring a baby to a restaurant <laughs> like that. That sounds like a start of a joke. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Don't bring a baby to a restaurant. But I remember this one time, bro, we went to a uh this was when Sophie was uh my niece was uh uh like a couple months still, you know, car seated mm. basically. I don't know the exact age. And we went to the Chinese buffet and um 
they don't really most restaurants don't really um prepare themselves for um infants as much as you think they do yeah and people uh like i said like if i had an infant i probably wouldn't go to restaurants out to eat like that because it's like they're, they're it's tedious work yeah you got you got to breastfeed them formula and all this extra shit yeah. i'm not going to be doing that at a restaurant right Unless it's like a family restaurant, or your kids a l- or your baby's a little bit older, to it's the point where they don't like, need to be breastfed. I'm not. I'm not saying like you can't breastfeed in public. What I'm saying is to avoid the hassle of having to stop eating. Yeah, I get you. I get Or you, exchanging I get you. whatever the fuck, or oh, I have to leave the booth and shit. There's yeah. not a lot of room. There's motherfuckers in my way. Mm. Just don't go out when you know what I mean, or like have some food at home, or you know, go somewhere where it's easier. Yeah, I feel you. A, a lot of this shit can be avoided, you know what I mean, like that. But, you know, some people just ah, have to go out to eat in public. You know what I mean? I don't know why. Yeah. Especially when it's fucking raining. But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but, yeah, so we went with um, my sister and whatnot. And, she, and I was like, I didn't want to go because I was like, that's the buffet. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got to go to the buffet. Go, you know what I mean? It's not my kid. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's not my kid. It doesn't matter. Right, uh, I'm not the I'm not the one dealing with it. Right, so I I'll go whatever. Right, if I if it was mine and I had to do it, I'm not going to restaurant. Mm. Fuck that shit. That's too much work. Right, I'm trying to enjoy my meal here. Right, <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so they she's like, oh, um, you have a fucking high chair. So what they do for car seats, um, they flip the high chair. They usually flip the high chairs mm. and use the wider right to put the car seat in and then whatever. The fucking lady does that and then the fucking the car seat and the table it's like right level to each other and then i guess the weight wasn't distributed properly so then the fucking the whole thing falls forward oh, and she no. falls in the table so like ba- if, uh, like if she was a little bit more back or yeah. like higher she would have fell on the f- like she would have ba- hit the table holy shit right but she fell into the table and we like basically we basically caught her with the legs she was strapped in. Holy so, fuck. So, like, even if she would have fell forward, mm. she would have been, you know, hanging from the yeah, seatbelt. But, but it's, imagine being the kid, and then you're just <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> and then you fall into a, you fall into a boot. <laughs> you're just sitting there watching your parents eat some fucking whatever, <laughs> and all of a sudden, you're fucking upside down. <laughs> exactly, bro. And the Chinese lady didn't know what to do. Yeah. She was just like, oh, shit, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I'm She's like, like we're going to get fucking sued. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, damn, bro, poor baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, bro, it's weird where fucking people will take their kids. When I was working at the casino, people would people would beg to bring their kids in. And and my 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 thing is I, I would always tell them like, you know, there's nothing but cigarette smoke in there. Yeah. There's yeah. You feel me? Like why I would guess you... back in the days I'm sorry. I guess back in the days it was mm. more like people didn't really give a fuck. They didn't think about it like that. They just did it. They're like, it's mm. just my kid. It's not a hindrance. You know what I mean, you know, because you know people like to feel empowered, and you know they feel like they're on top of the world and they can mm. do anything. But sometimes, yo, let the shit go. All right, you want to listen, bro? You can't go to the strip club anymore. I'm sorry, dude. You have a kid. All right, exactly. you want to smoke cigarettes in your house? Sorry, you have a fucking kid. You're gonna fucking give them lung, lung cancer. Exactly. Dude, fucking chill. <laughs> That's and, and that was always my thing, bro. And it was just like, it always it always fucking shocked me, because people would leave their kids outside. They would leave their kids in the cars so they can go inside of the casino. I remember one time, bro, I had just gotten into work. I walk in, like my shift hadn't started. I was walking in and I see this kid sitting on the bench like next to the shit. And I'm just like, that's not my fucking problem right now. I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to clock in. Hopefully this fucking kid's gone by the time I come out. Mm. I'm cool. I come out, kid's still fucking there. I'm just like, God damn it. Now it's my fucking problem. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm calling people. I'm just like, yo, what the fuck you want to do about this kid? You feel me? Find this kid's fucking parents. Turns out the fucking parents were inside playing, just gambling, gambling away. Who gives a fuck about the kids? And I, this other time. You um, know, sorry to cut you off. I was looking at the audio here and the fucking volume was down. We're still recording audio. We've been recording audio the whole time. But I don't know if it's if it's going to be low or then loud towards the end. Mm. We'll see that. Yeah. Hopefully we've been talking loud enough. Right. So, so yeah, there was this, this couple with their kid order, like ordering food from, from one of the restaurants and, uh, I was somewhere else and I, I hear the call over the radio, uh, for one of my coworkers. He was just like, Hey, 
I I told these people they don't want to fucking listen. I told them they can't have kids in here, this, this, and that. So I was like, all right, let me go see what's up. Because sometimes, uh, like, if you just show up, like, your presence is enough to scare people into conforming. You feel me? Because yeah. they see the... They see the 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 uniforms and they assume that you have authority but what they don't know is you can't do shit you feel me so i was like fuck it i'm, I'm gonna press I'm my gonna button go in a minute hmm? i'm about to press my button oh, okay so i go up and um so i tell them i'm like hey listen guys can't have your kids in here you gotta yeah. go you feel me and um oh thanks man so i'm like you can't have your fucking kids in here you gotta go and this guy's just like oh but we're ordering food and i'm just like i don't care i was like you can't have kids in here you yeah. know what I'm saying? And he's just like, but we just ordered. And I'm just like, and I still don't give a shit. You feel me? And I'm just like, I'm just like, listen, man, tell your wife to take your kid outside. You can wait for the food, but you can't have this fucking kid in here. And he's just like, oh, but we can take him at the other fucking casino. This is, I'm like, this isn't that fucking casino. First of all, I'm like, <laughs> why are you? First of all, this food isn't good enough for you to want to fucking argue with me about your order. First things first, get your priorities straight. These fuck that fucking Thirteen dollar burger that they're that they fucking keep in a deep freeze isn't that fucking good. Uh-huh. <laughs> so so I'm like so I'm like take tell your fucking wife take this kid outside, and um, cool they do that and I'm I'm following his wife with the kid outside to make sure they fucking leave. So and I I'm calling over the radio I'm just like hey like keep a keep a visual on me just make sure like these fucking people leave this this and that whatever. And then uh, make sure I don't get my face chewed off or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. And then um, I go back to where this dude is, and he was just like, oh, so my wife called me and told me that uh, you said she was a security threat, this, this, and that. I'm just like, here we fucking go. I'm just like, I, I call my manager. I'm just like, listen, this guy's fucking turn it up, dog. Come get him. You know what I'm saying? And, and this guy's just going off. Like, why can't we have my kid in here? This, this, and that. I'm just like, holy fuck. Somebody should take your kid away. <laughs> Because you are so irresponsible. Why would you have your fucking kid? And th- mind you, this kid was like fucking five years old. Five mm-hmm. years old. Yeah. I'm, I'm just like, God damn, dude. That's that's incredible to me. How how people can just fucking... How people just raise their kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's, what a society where <laughs> yeah. you can't gamble with your kid. What a society, bro. <laughs> you, can't, you can't fucking blow cigar smoke in your kid's face? Damn. <laughs> Those Fuck. fucking Democrats mm-hmm. won again, bro. Those bastards. Yeah. Man. Or the conservatives. Yeah. Ooh, who mm-hmm. knows? Who, who, who's the one stopping <laughs> you from blowing smoke in your kid's face? You decide. <laughs> Find out the truth. But nah, bro. Yeah. And it's I ain't like, gonna lie. I'm gonna need you to monologue for a minute. Because mm-hmm. I have to check my car for something. Okay. I'll just keep telling casino stories. <laughs> yeah, and there was another time this guy fucking died. <laughs> this is actually this is a real story. This guy, he was at the bar and um he's just he's just like cool, he's drinking and he starts doing some drugs. He starts taking some pills, doing whatever he's doing. And it's like maybe around it's it's closer to the end of my shift. And um so so I'm like going to clock out and then I see this commotion like of of like a bunch of security guards and I see this guy on the floor. I don't know what the fuck is going on cuz like I said, my shift is over. And once my shift is over, my shift is fucking over. You feel me? So, I'm walking, cool this this and that. I see that shit going on. I go upstairs, I clock out. Next day, I'm at work and I'm just walking around, right? And this guy comes up to me and he goes, "Hey man, uh is your manager around?" I was just like, um Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm forgetting the most important part of the story. This guy fucking dies. He overdoses. They take him to the hospital. He's pronounced dead. Cool. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, this guy's fucking dead. Dead as shit. And um, so next day, I walk into work and uh, I'm just walking around and shit. Um, This guy comes up and he's just like, hey, man, is your manager around? I say, yeah, I call him over. You feel me? He starts talking to him and I leave because I'm like, this has nothing to do with me. You feel me? And um, so then I'm, I'm back where I'm supposed to be. And my manager comes up to me and he goes, hey, um, that guy I was talking to, uh, I, he was like, you, you saw that guy I was just talking to, right? And I was just like, yeah. He was like, yeah, that's the guy that died yesterday. And I was just like, oh, word. And he was just like, yeah, man, uh, don't let him back in here. <laughs> I was just like, you <laughs> got to die. again." <laughs> I was just like, you got it. So this guy, 
Go ahead. So this guy fucking went to the casino, died, came back to life, and then went to the casino again the next day. Listen, man, I'm betting everything already. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm I'm betting a lot if I lived. Yeah, bro. So I, yeah, I guess I guess like um, they they have. Like they pumped his stomach or whatever. I don't know what the fuck they did to be able to bring this fucking guy back to life. But it's crazy how that's not even like the first time that's happened. Like not come back to life and and like came back, but like some like it's it happened twice where somebody's overdosed. Uh-huh. Uh, the other time I was um, there was there's this older guy uh, that used to, well he's he he passed away recently. Um, he was a security guard, and this guy was like ninety years old, legit ninety years old. Uh-huh. Like, uh, he would walk around hella slow. Like, he was missing fingers. Like, he was in the war type shit. You know what I'm saying? He was a cool guy. His name was Frank. Uh, rest in peace, Frank. Um, so he's he's like he only ever did like money calls. So he would just like he was just escorting people from place to place because obviously he's not going to the fight calls or whatever the fucking case is. Yeah, and um, so. He's in the bath. He goes to the bathroom, I guess, and um, he. You just hear him call over the radio. He's like, "I need a, I need a manager over here by by the bathroom." You know what I'm saying? And nobody. Li- he calls like maybe three or four times, and nobody's listening. You feel me? Nobody's <laughs> responding to him or nothing. Yeah, listen, man, I'm on my lunch break. Right. <laughs> I'll get to you. I right, give it a minute. All right, if it's an emergency, bro, nine one one. Yeah, because the thing was, he wasn't he wasn't explaining what was happening. He was just saying that he needed a manager there. You feel me? And if you don't tell them what's going on, they're not going to rush. So he's like, yeah, I need a manager over here. And then he's finally like, there's a guy on the floor. He's not moving in the bathroom. I can't, you know. And then and then I'm with my manager talking to him, right? Hey, yo, did you hear the radio, bro? <laughs> I was like, yo, you heard that fucking old guy talking, bro? What the fuck is he talking about? Yeah, huh? someone on the floor. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey go deal with that. <laughs> it's crazy. It's, it's like a fucking regular guy. <laughs> So so yeah, bro. It's like uh, so, so we hear that, and it's me and two of my managers. We run to the bathroom. Yeah. And now we're in this stall. It's like the it's the handicap stall. So it's the three of us in there, and this guy's on the floor. He's not he's not moving. He's not doing nothing. And um, my managers are there giving this guy CPR. You feel me doing this shit with his chest, all that shit, and um, they're just like. I'm over here telling him to call the fucking uh, e- like EMS uh, and shit. So then my manager goes, "Okay, I need you to go outside and direct EMS to where we're at." I'm like, "Cool." So I go outside and they enter through like the 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 front entrance. Yeah. So and where the guy is fucking dead is in <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck. He's he's like in the middle of the casino. So, excuse me. So I go. I run to the, uh, I don't run, I walk. So I walk over to where they're at, and I'm just like, hey, guys, uh, they're over there. And he's, <laughs> hey, uh, hey, hey, hey. They're in that direction. And this guy, and the EMS guy hops out of the shit, and he's, like, kind of running, putting his pack on. And I'm just, like, walking with him. I'm just like, yeah, they're over there. He's, yeah, just like, he's just like, where? I don't know where over there is. So I'm just like, and now this guy's, at, like, not running. So I'm just like, fuck, now I got to run with this guy to show him where this shit is. And and at that point, I was the. At that point, the guy's dead. <laughs> no, that All guy. Right? Look, that it's guy because was because of will. <laughs> to be honest, let's be real. It's not because the old guy said, "Hey, I need a manager over here." The guy's dead because of this guy. <laughs> no, this guy. This guy. Look, this guy was dead before any of us found him. Okay, so um, so yeah, so he starts running, and I have to fucking run with him. And at this point in time, when I was working there, I was probably like maybe really fat. I was like to my fattest. So yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. So let's say I was maybe <laughs> like uh, I want to say maybe like two fifty to two sixty around there. So I was I wasn't running. I wasn't running well. You feel me? And um, my fucking radio falls out of my pocket, hits the fucking ground, and it fucking breaks. And I had this shit connected to my ear with a wire. So I had to fucking pick it up by the wire. And I'm still fucking running with this guy. And um, we make it to the fucking bathroom. I'm over there fucking dying. 
You know what I'm saying? Not as much as that guy, but I'm I'm close. You feel me? Although <laughs> 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 better you than me. Eh? Better you than me. Eh? Somebody give me a water. <laughs> 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 nah, but so I'm over there. I'm sweating. I'm like, fuck. This guy better fucking be alive, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so they take this guy out, and later we find out he was fucking dead. He had overdosed on drugs. Nice. I don't know. I think it might have been like heroin or some shit. But he, he overdosed and he was fucking dead. Did he take it there? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how long he was in the bathroom for. I don't know what this... We just... I, all I know is... I saw him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. That shit was kind of crazy. Did you poke him? I didn't poke him. <laughs> unfortunately, bro. Like, I couldn't cross that one off my bucket list. Did he look cold? Pale? Well, n- no. Because that usually happens like a few hours after. Is it? Yeah. That- I mean, for as long as you guys took... Let's be real. Well, I can't imagine he was there for more than a day. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, no, but after a while, people look cold. Uh, I mean, I, I like once like all the fluids and shit get released from your body, maybe. But like, he was like that shit doesn't happen immediately. Like he was freshly dead. You feel me? Uh, still warm. Still warm. Basically, yeah. Okay. So. So yeah, man, that shit was kind of crazy. Wow, dude. Mm-hmm. And now you don't work there no more. No, oh, no. Because somebody died on your watch. <laughs> no, it wasn't my watch. It was fucking Frank's watch. <laughs> nah, bro. Let's be real here, bro. You like? I listen. You can lie to everybody, but me, I know yeah. the truth. Yeah. Okay. You, you listen. You see? No, this is how you set this up. You All set right. this up properly, right? Let's hear it. You're like, listen. This guy's dying, right? And they're like, dude, you can't hear you. What are you talking about? Uh, I need a manager. I need a manager. <laughs> uh, but you were scared, so you try to play it off like you're old. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I need a manager. You blamed it on Frank. You, you said Frank saw this shit, right? Because you actually, because you were with Frank. You were hanging out with Frank. Oh, yeah. You told Frank, like, listen, bro, I'll go get help, bro. Because they're, 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 they're obviously not coming to help us. They're not answering the call, right? Right. EMS shows up, right? And now they're like, yo, why didn't you call this in properly? <laughs> <laughs> right, they're probably gonna wonder that they're gonna be like, "Yo, why did this person call this shit in fucking right. properly?" And not like you know, <laughs> they blame it on Frank. So while you're running, you threw your radio down and broke it <laughs> <laughs> on purpose, <laughs> on purpose. You know what I mean? And you fucking led <laughs> the EMS guy. Yeah, you know wow, I mean? bro, you can see right through me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yeah, I think he's over there. <laughs> He's with Frank, obviously. I don't know what the fuck he's at. (laughs) No, that's Frank's fault. (laughs) Nah, rest in peace, Frank. Frank was a real cool guy, man. Frank's dead. Frank's dead, yeah. You killed Frank. No, I didn't kill Frank. Frank was super old. He was going to actually... He's actually going to let your manager know (laughs) that you (laughs) were the one that caused the guy's death. I had to get rid of him. You had to get rid of Frank. (laughs) Nah, man. What's what's crazy about that is um, when I went to go back at the casino the, the second time, um, I had asked about him because I didn't see him around. And Frank or the dead guy? No, Frank. I don't give a fuck about the other dead guy. <laughs> Obviously. You, you yeah, killed him. I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, let me stop there. <laughs> so, yeah, I asked about him. And um, uh, my manager had told me that uh, he, he he died. And she said that a month before that th- they opened back up, he had called one of the managers and was just like, listen, I need to come back to work or I'm going to die. And then two weeks later, he fucking died. Did they ever say why he died? I, I think it was just old age, bro. I think it was just old age because cause he was like, it, it looked like the only reason he was alive was because he was, he was working he, there. Yeah. Yeah. And I think he knew that. I think he knew that because he didn't need to work. He had money, bro. He was like, really, he had a lot of money. He had to keep it moving, bro. He yeah. needed those atoms to keep moving, bro. Yeah. Too much potential energy will kill you. He needs a kinetic. He needs a release. Yeah, man. So, dude, fuck that, dude. If imagine if he would have bet some money, man, he would have won. Because he's like, yo, bro, I need to fucking work, or I'm gonna die. He fucking died, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking knew it, bro. But that's the thing: the casino was closed at that point, so he couldn't even go if he want. Because the only person, the only people that they were letting. In there was the surveillance team and like security managers. You feel no me? No customers. 
no customers, no. They needed like they needed to have people there twenty four seven because they didn't take the money out. Because usually, because usually when what they do, uh, like maybe during like a natural disaster, let's say a hurricane, they move the money. Yeah, they have to. We we close like eight. Mm-hmm. It's an eight hour process. You feel me? To remove, yeah, it's an eight hour process to remove all the money from that place, and um, so. Fuck, where was I going? Yeah, it's, uh, so they have to fucking take them all out, count them, like take all the boxes of money out of the machines, uh-huh. count them, put them in another box, give them to uh, like a Brinks truck or something, and then the Brinks truck takes them wherever, and they have to do this for the entire casino, and there are hundreds of machines in there. You feel me? Not including oh, so tables. they actually have to take it out of every machine. Every Obviously. machine, yeah. And, uh, and all the money they have... Tucked away wherever they have it, you feel me, in the vaults and shit, and they got to make sure everything's locked, you feel me? Yeah. Okay, so Strat, here's what we're going to do. Right. We're going to open up a bank. Okay. And then beside it, a casino. And then what? That's it. We have a bank and a casino. <laughs> and okay. Then it won't take us eight hours to move everything. We just <laughs> It'll move take 15 door. minutes. <laughs> it's the next door. Next the bank, door. In our bank. Oh, yeah, bro. The money comes back to us. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, we are supposed to get paid. <laughs> but yeah, bro, really yeah, they take they take that shit seriously. Um, I mean, yeah, it's cash, dude. And a lot of Those it. Those are assets right there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, and that shit takes fucking forever. I, luckily enough, um, the last, like, serious hurricane scare we had, we didn't end up having to do that. So um, You would have to do it? Yeah, I would have had to be there. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. But, um, so so for that shit, they didn't, they didn't do it. They just kept, like... Uh, Surveillance and a few security guards there just to make sure people weren't coming in and telling them that shit was closed, whatever. And he didn't make the cut. No, he didn't make the cut. And and then he died. Rest in peace, Frank, bro. Frank wasn't racist, right? But but he, so- was, but he was racist. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's that's, a, that's what they mean, bro. Like no, when, no, no, when, no, no. When no, you listen. say when somebody says, "Hey, look, my uncle's not racist." No, no, no. But listen, he's racist. listen, listen, listen. Frank wasn't racist, right? It's just he was really old. And he was never wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're going to say to me? Is no. that what you're going to say? No, 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 no. No. He was just really, really <laughs> old. You feel me? So, <laughs> well, you know, with really, really old people, sometimes they're st- stuck in the past. You, they don't know they're that still certain, racist. They don't know that certain words you can't use anymore. You feel me? Like, I'm not saying that he was running around saying, like, slurs. You feel me? He wasn't around calling me. He wasn't going around calling me a spick or anything. He called me a Yankee. You feel me? But he was <laughs> he was calling Puerto Ricans Puerto Ricans. You know what I'm saying? Like he was just he he was like he used them. He was standing in the obvious. He was using them as <laughs> he was using them as descriptors and, instead of like racially charged insults. You get what I'm saying? No. I I don't know, man. It's, like if somebody said, "Hey, look." Look, a Honduran, and he was pointing at me. I'm like, yeah, I am. How'd you know? Yeah, that's what he was doing. But sometimes it sounded a little weird, but he didn't mean it that way. And you knew that when you talked to him. You feel me? Yeah. Look, look, I, I'm, look, I'm, th- Frank was a cool guy. He wasn't racist. All right. Rest in peace, Frank. My condolences to your family and, and everybody you love. You feel me? But, um, but yeah, man, he was a real cool guy. I remember one time we were fucking sitting in the break room just chatting it up. And he was just telling me about his life, you know what I'm saying? He was just like, "Yeah, man, I used to, I used to run this uh, motel, this, this, and that." And uh, I was the only, I was the only motel in in this in the state that would let um, minorities stay there. Because at the time when he ran it, like people wouldn't let; they would only have the motels and shit for white people. Segregation. Yes, segregation. So he was like, and he was telling me like, yeah, sometimes uh, some prostitutes would be like, hey, if you give me a room, I'll suck your dick. And he was just like, I thought about it, but I never did it. You know what I'm saying? I was just I'm like, a good man. I'm a good man. And I was just like, good, good for you, Frank. You would know you have done it? Oh yeah, maybe for a room. <laughs> Fuck it. If I ran a hotel, what if they had stuff? What if they had the heebie-jeebies? The heebie-jeebies? Well, I'm just getting my dick sucked, bro. I'll put a condom on. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not fucking them. You want to put a condom on while they're sucking you off? Yeah. Dude, what the fuck? What? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what are you, a fucking sex ed class? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, what if they have the heebie-jeebies? You know what I'm saying? Then don't do it at all. Uh, look, I'm not in a position where people are just offering to suck my dick for a room, so I don't know what the fuck I would do. You know what I'm saying? But um, 
it's all circumstantial. You feel me? Whatever. I don't need your approval. Okay. These are my thoughts and I'll ideas. I'll do it for a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> this is my final. I'll offer. do it for a croissant and a Capri Sun. You feel me? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but um, press this button again. So um, time's going real fast. <laughs> Yeah, has, it, has it already been? I realize I just like flipping the camera every time I say something. Though, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice look, look <laughs> at <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can keep talking. Nah, man, but yeah, he was just telling me about his life and shit. And um, at the end of it, he was he gave me some some advice, some like sage advice. You feel me? And it it, it always he said me. if you ever want to give somebody a room, make sure they suck your dick. <laughs> nah, man, he was just telling me he was just like he was just like listen, man. Don't fucking sit around wasting your life. You know what I'm saying? If you got something you want to do, you feel me? Like, do that shit now. You feel me? Like, like I, the, just the shit he told me. Yeah, like, because you're not going to live long enough <laughs> like me. I don't know, know bro. I'm saying? The shit that he was saying, just like at that at that moment in time, the, like the way I was thinking and what I felt, it resonated with me. You feel me? So it's like he knew what he was talking about. Just yeah. like he knew he was going to die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I would have believed Frank, too. Hey, obviously he knew what the fuck was going on. But he died. He <laughs> fucking died. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I like man. the way you're framed more than me. What, you want to switch or something? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I right, continue. <laughs> nah, man. But there was a lot. There's a lot. There was a lot of crazy shit that happened at that mm-hmm. casino, bro. A lot of crazy shit. Fucking um, I realized speaking of jobs, fucking dude, I got us a Pepe's, bro. A whole generation of people was there now. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Like it's a whole different generation of people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like the bartender's different, the waiters are different. The um, who's who? They have uh, a different bartender now. I mean, it's Carlos and oh, oh yeah, okay, okay, Carlos. I got you. I got you. I got you, you know what I mean, and then it's like what Pedro, Rebecca, yeah. fucking <laughs> names you don't even know, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Who fucking the... Kevin, <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and Danny is the fucking waiter. You know oh, I mean? is he? Yeah. Good for him. And fucking, he's also a bar back. You know what I mean? And um, there's no hostesses. Um, uh, Fernanda hasn't been working there. Victor hasn't been working there. All the people that, like, say you worked with are now mm. all gone. Yeah. Other than, what, Carlos? Yeah, but fuck him. And Marie, but mm. that's just, but it's like, once if you go there again to work, bro, it feels like a new place. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. And, and um, as much as... Um, Technically, I didn't get fired. Like, <laughs> if I wanted to, I can go back when they open everything up. But I'm not going to be here. <laughs> I mean, if... um, Would I go back there? I mean, yeah. I don't think it would be worth it, to be honest. Yeah. The trip the trip itself wouldn't be enough. Like, it, w- it wouldn't be worth it. I mean, like, if I didn't move. Oh, if you didn't move, still. Still, right? Getting still. a job. Yeah. Change my life. Change my life. Change my name. Yeah. Because, I mean... I felt I felt this way at the time. I, I was like, "Fuck Carlos and Pepe's," you yeah. know what I'm saying? But after like some time reflecting on it and shit, I I kind of owe everything that's in my life now to Carlos and Pepe's. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I feel that. I wouldn't I wouldn't be here talking to you if I didn't start working there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And y- you're my fucking best friend. You feel me? So <laughs> God, <man. laughs> so it's like it's like. <laughs> So it's that like touch me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying it's like so much shit in my life would have not like who knows where the fuck I would have been. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like everybody, all these fucking incredible people that I've met and are now my closest friends, you know what I'm saying? Like I've met because of this place. Yeah. And I, I'm like I in my mind now I'm forever grateful for that. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like nice. You feel me? It's like I a, a job, no job that I've had since then has had such an impact in my life. And yeah. I've worked at a lot of fucking places. You feel me? But I, I definitely owe a lot to that place. So that that's it's always gonna have like a special like like kind of a special place in my heart. It's always gonna be a name that I remember. You feel me? Yeah. Like everything that's like it's always gonna be like I remember fucking working behind the bar and stealing fucking entire bottles of alcohol. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> <laughs> like a bunch of stupid shit, but it was fun, you know, getting to work with your friends, you know what I'm saying, fucking around. It, like, when it fucking sucked, it fucking sucked. Yeah. But it was it was still good, you feel me? It was still not that bad. Yeah, and the schedules were nice. Oh, yeah. My people come back? Uh, anyways, um, if they come back in, uh, I'll just switch to my camera. <laughs> oh, they can walk through? Yeah. Is it easy to walk through there? Through here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would just have to move this. Move what? 
the the box. Oh, okay. Um, what was I gonna say? We're at two hours and four minutes. Damn, really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. Dude, we can run our yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. thought, you thought, dude. When I had the two with Victor, it was, mm. it was pretty much the same thing. Yeah, you know I mean. All right. Um. Thank you for sponsoring us. <laughs> <laughs> Are we calling it? Um, I'm gonna let them pass through. Okay. And then we'll think about that. But yeah. So let me just move this box. Wanna wanna pass off? Make sure they don't trip over any wires. But yeah. See, not that bad. Yeah, not not bad. that bad. Um, alright. Uh, what, where is it? 204? When did I press those buttons? When did I press those buttons? Was it 150? I don't know. We're gonna end it soon. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, hmm. Anything else you want? to can... Any other story you got? Um, no. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> trying to think because like like i said i've worked at a lot of fucking places dog so i have a lot like a lot of like just random shit just happens sometimes you know you know if it wasn't for cars and peppers i wouldn't have met my my girlfriend that's true man <laughs> my, that's, be- yeah. my 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 beautiful girlfriend that's true you know bro. <laughs> I, yo i thought to myself every time because um i was on the victor train I guess because Victor makes you want to quit <laughs> is what it is to be honest with you it's just I don't know what, I guess everybody who ever quit Guys of Memphis made you want to quit because mm-hmm. you're like damn my mind's still here but it's like dude you're going to go to another minimum wage job oh yeah it's all the same shit right? absolutely but um, all the times where I was just like I'm going to quit you know stick the mile whatever the fuck same shit right I was like damn what would happen if I did quit like I always would have been friend, friends with y'all, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't have like you know, but like that one last person, right? Because every every because after her, um, other than what Carlos um, hasn't I haven't been hanging sure, out yeah, with, yeah. You know what I mean, because I met Gotti before, met mm-hmm. Joba before, I met you know what I mean, like mm-hmm. we met all those people before. And she was like basically the last person that I that it was worth knowing in my life, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um. But yeah, you know, so I'm thankful for that, even though they fucking discharged me horribly. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, they just didn't. Um, then again, they're like, oh, I, I always have a. To be honest, I feel like I, I have a spot no matter what. But it has to be uh, more of a like, um, if I do go back, it would have to be one of those th- one of those things where it's like, I am prepared to do four people's jobs, mm-hmm. and that's that where it's at because they, they pay horribly. Oh they, yeah, they pay too little for me to do four people's jobs. Yeah, bro. If they paid me a lot, I'll do. I have a secure spot. Mm. Welcome, but <laughs> yeah, bro. When yeah. Uh, that that's how it was at, uh, when I was working at the downtowner. It was like um, because when I was there, I was working in the mornings, and um, they only had they only had one person. So I would be busing, food running, and bar backing. You feel me? And that shit got a, to be a lot sometimes. You feel me? It's like you're like sometimes jogging. You feel me? Like to get shit done. It was like, and on top of. On top of that, where the downtowner is, um, you're you know such an inconvenience. Yeah, it's such an inconvenience because one, it's next to a prison, and two, it's like a road under a bridge. Under a bridge, and like they have outside seating that's across the road under the bridge, and people speed down that fucking road. You had so essentially you had to drop off food across the street from where you worked. Mm-hmm. Yes, which yeah. is stupid. Yeah. Like it wasn't a, it wasn't like a big street. It was just like enough room for one car to pass, but still, that's still like yeah. weird. Like imagine like if um they, they do it at Chick Fil A, but mm-hmm. uh, I'm trying to think of something. But they have a different. The thing about Chick Fil A, they have like they have um they have a drive through car, drive through car, mm. which is weird. So basically, what they do is you 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 can walk in between those two um, huts, but in the second hut they have things to prepare food. In it, so they have essentially two buildings. Oh shit! That's but weird. a small, like a but uh, the smaller building is like a little kitchen, with like oh. you know like pack, packaging yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff. And I'm like, damn, bro, that's that's pretty smart. It's a, it's like having two restaurants, but mm. one's the size of just the kitchen. Mm. It's like having a hot dog stand. <laughs> yeah, that sells yeah. your food. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's like, damn, okay, 
Other than all the slave labor they have. <laughs> yeah, and they, how they sacrifice the fucking people that work there to make their chicken. <laughs> I just, sometimes it's like, yeah, they're giving jobs to people and stuff like that, but sometimes it's just be like, it's just counterintuitive. Mm. Is that how you use that word? Is that how you use that word? Counterintuitive, I guess. Yeah. I, I, it's like, it's like, why do I need somebody to pass me my food in between a window and a car? It's, it's not needed, you know? Mm. Why do you have that person outside for it? Mm. You could have just been working inside. It's like, because I can reach the window. The person can reach me, and I can reach Yeah, him. yeah, I know what you're talking about. So why do you about. have somebody outside to pass in between? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's that was kind of, I remember we were going through the Chick-fil-A drive. And sometimes it'd be two people. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, it's like damn, hot we're... potato with my food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's it, it kind of like that. And um, what was, what was kind of weird about it was, well, not weird, but like, they had um, umbrella holes in the tables, and we would have to put the umbrellas in there. And um, yeah. the umbrella stands, like what would hold them, had like uh, the little screws, like these, like the tripods have, where you, you just tighten them. Um, but some of them, the uh, the screw was broken off, so you couldn't tighten yeah. it. So when it would get windy, sometimes the fucking umbrellas would fly we'll out. Just... <laughs> so you're out here like um, yeah. poppins and shit. Yeah, and one time a car was passing on a particularly windy day and one of the umbrellas fucking flew out and hit the car. Who and covers that? <laughs> the fucking restaurant, dog. They like they, they have they I'm sure they have insurance. But um but yeah, I was like, damn, bro, maybe maybe leave the umbrellas inside <laughs> like or buy better fucking stands, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then another time I fucking one of the one of the people one of the prisoners escaped and they locked us down for like two hours. They didn't let nobody go in. They didn't let nobody go out. Like we had to like lock our doors and all. You feel me? And I was just like, "Fuck, this is this is not coming here, right?" Like, imagine being a prisoner, right, escaping and realizing there's no traffic. Everybody's on lockdown, dude. <laughs> dude, you're free. Dude, you're free. Like, dude, I can I can clear it. I guess they don't want nobody getting hijacked. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Then again, why would you hijack somebody if you're a prisoner? You're calling yeah. too, you're calling too yeah. much heat to yeah. you, so. Yeah. You're not going to go to a restaurant just in an orange. That's facts. Assuming that's what they get just in. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? It's probably just a white tee and some slack. Mm-hmm. But, like, do you think you'd be, like, if somebody, like, unless they had a change of clothes, do you think you'd be able to spot, a, like, a, like, an escapee? If they weren't actually doing something heinous? Probably not. Probably not. Like, what if he had, like... And even if I did, I probably wouldn't say anything. You know what I mean? That's not my business. You feel me? Like, would you just pose as a homeless person? I mean, I feel like that would probably be the easiest way. Like, Because cause the downtown is obviously downtown, and then they have a shitload of homeless people, so I'm sure you could blend in somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, like because usually, yeah, because, you know, most people when they're escaping, you know, they're like, oh, I gotta look for a car, I gotta, mm. or a getaway car, whatever the fuck, but, like, you just hide in plain sight. Yeah, and not only and not only that, uh, the downtowner was next to like a little, um, like next to I don't know if it was a canal or whatever, but it, it was like a body of water. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, a, and it had like docks and shit. So it was like, and and the prison is literally like maybe a minute away yeah. from this fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? So you could easily just run, jump in there. You feel me? Like, or hide in one of the fucking boats or something. I don't know. Then again, they probably comb the whole area. Mm. And if you're not on, I guess it's like everybody knows they're on lockdown mm. except you. Yeah. So now since you have been left prison or jail in mm. a long time, assuming that's why you escaped, you're probably like, you're like, oh, because everybody's just inside and you think it's just a regular day. Yeah. And now roaming the streets like an idiot because everybody else is on lockdown <laughs> but you. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, I guess the only thing you would be able to do is to blend in with a homeless guy. Because you're not walking into McDonald's if everything's in lockdown. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, bro. Not going to the bus terminal. They're, one, they're, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, man. You're going to have to hide in somebody's tent, dude. There's there's a place by um, the bus terminal and the prison where there's just a bunch of tents. It's like a city of tents, bro. It's a sea mm. of tents. Looks like they're selling them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm like, damn, bro. Like, fuck. Um, I... I it's fucked up, you know what I mean? Because it's, it's kind of like, you know, they're homeless or whatever the fuck. And, um, but I, I wanted to know, what's the operation there? Do you just claim 
the space? <laughs> like, yeah. whatever. Is there like someone a, that you have to talk to? <laughs> is like a, is know, there a liaison or something? Because <laughs> selfishness goes on every level of mm. human something. <laughs> levels, I guess. Yeah. Of, you know, like, oh, upper class, lower class. Everybody. And on every level, people are selfish at some point. Yeah. So I'm like... Do you like yo, dude? Your fucking tent's too close to mine. This is, I was here first, or whatever. Do you have the five for it? Like, do you, do you, are you cordial about it? You know what I mean? I, I guess those are things that are, are I'm usually curious about. Like, damn, like, how how do you? I guess how like, then again, you would you would hope they're like welcoming. Where it's like, <laughs> yeah, oh, like, dude, we're in this we're in this shit together. Yeah, just in case you're ever homeless, you know, you got a place. You feel me? Like, dude, yeah. I got a tent, bro. You want you trying to yeah. steal shit from me, or is it like you still can't trust everybody? Because mm. you're not letting everybody in your house. Uh, yeah, in fact, so after, after, you're not letting everybody in your tent. It's all mm. you have. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, yeah, I feel you, bro. Those people get fucked up. Like some people rob homeless people still for some reason. For some fucking, for some fucked up reason. Like, I, I guess I, I'm, I can't really speak on that shit because you know I'm not homeless or nothing like that. Mm. But usually, what I've seen is like, it's usually somebody like who, for example, if I didn't have a ten and you had a ten, mm. maybe. But if like if they're on the same level and they still do it, this is, this is kind of fucking yeah, bad. bro. Yeah, that's something I stealing for me like. Like I don't know, there's something about monetary gain at the expense of somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, if like if somebody like wrongs you, you feel me? If somebody steals from you and you go and you take their shit, you feel me? It's whatever. And I'm all about stealing from corporations. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I go to Walmart, I'm fucking stealing. But, <laughs> but stealing from somebody who doesn't have it. Yeah, or you feel me? It's like it, it. There's something so fucking heinous to me about it. There's something like really. It's it. It, it seems like a fucking dirtbag thing to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like robbing somebody or like breaking in there. And I know, I understand that it, it, you, it's, it's circumstantial and you might be in a situation Surviving. where, where you, yeah. you, you need to, but it's like, there are a million other ways you could have done, like you could have done something else. You guys could have got it together. You feel me? <laughs> you guys like rob somebody else together. <laughs> I don't know. It's just that some about that is just like, I feel like if you rob a homeless person, you deserve to be homeless. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, if yeah. you if if you guys are in the same position, like, it's like, you know, those moments where it's like, say we're both starving, mm -hmm. right? And then we get, like, a piece of bread, dude, and we split it, bro, and then I fucking, I just knock you out just mm -hmm. to eat your piece of bread, bro. I, was, like, I deserve to be where I'm yeah. at in life, bro. So. Yeah, there's some, some about that. It's like, that's that's why, like, I, if somebody were to steal from me, bro, especially the way I am is, like, if I have something and you need it and you ask me for it, it's yours. You feel yeah. me? If I can, if I can, if I can spare it, I'll give it to you. You feel me? But don't fucking steal from me. Yeah. You feel me? That shit. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't like that. That's the quickest way to get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Unless like, you're stealing his heart. Yeah. Unless you're stealing my heart. I mean, by, all, by all means, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I don't know, bro. That, I can't do that stealing shit. I don't respect anybody who does it just to do it. You know what I'm saying? Especially for with, for people that don't if, like have it like that. I don't know. But like I said, steal from corporations all you want. You heard it here, here first, folks. Folks, yeah. There you Yo, go. Sometimes, sometimes when I get certain phrases, I can't say it right. Yeah, that one's that one's tough to say. Like, I I have trouble saying that. You one heard it here first, folks. Yeah, you got to really enunciate for that one. You heard it here first, folks. folks. Right? But anyway, thank you for listening to thank the Foreign Entities listening. podcast, the Two Man Potty. This has been episode fifty forty eight. Uh, I've been. Is it forty eight? <laughs> yeah, it was forty eight. I don't um, check. It is forty eight. Uh, yeah. It is forty eight. It is. Uh, I'm Willis and Cage. That's Convoy. Uh, thank you for listening. Make sure you tune into the last one. Make sure you tune into the next one. Follow us on all our socials. And as always, you're a white screen.